I am not curious about anything that has really happened. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I guess that's just my, a lot of my friends are disability. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of my friends are disability. <laughs> 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 It occurs to me that I don't know what the Cheers theme yeah, song is. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to The Bracket, episode 102. Today we are debating the best things to do while bored. The winner, Tommy Smokes, is suggesting kind yeah. of. Because I didn't think you won. I thought Nick yeah. won. Yeah, whatever. It was really more Nick's suggestion. But yeah. my final say. I guess, yeah, you were such a forgettable winner that I guess I just assumed that it was Nick's win, right? Tommy, you wearing pink? Yeah, pink Whitney yeah, shirt. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, someone else told me earlier I can't wear this with my skin tone. Oh, it was Frank. I mean, that tubble lard, like he knows anyhow. <laughs> that yeah. fat fuck. Yeah. His skin He's is so jealous. white, there's a lot of colors he can't wear. Yeah, one of the exciting things about today, uh, no Francis, but we do have Marty and Clemmer, two of the, uh, I'd say, like the most reoccurring guests uh, for this I program. think they're just on the show. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're just kind of on one the day, show. No, one day he'll say yeah, we're, 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 well, I, I refuse I, I to like say it. it. I like it. <laughs> one we're, still, we're still understudies. <laughs> it's super inconvenient they're not in the group chat when we're thinking of ideas. Just, can you just do it? <laughs> yeah, I should just add them, honestly. <laughs> just like they're <laughs> not in the group chat? No, no, no. no, no. Every episode. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, <laughs> Coley is still in the group chat. No, Cole, I booted Coley. I booted Coley and Owen left of his own volition. Ken Jack does not want us to be part of this I want you guys to under any circumstance. I want you guys to stay hungry. Got you know what I mean? Yeah. Because that number, then you bring in some suggestions, and they're absolutely. Look at insane. me! I'm always hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. No, obviously not that hungry. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, but bigger news: Stephen Shea back on the program for what feels like forever. Yeah. How we doing, boys? Very Good excited. Guys. Very excited to have you on. And we have a very interesting double Che in today. Uh, for Che's our... hot. Che's hot right now. Che... He's been draining threes competitively Ooh. and just recreationally. Yeah, we're not churning out any content, but all three of us are getting pretty good at basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we have an actual basketball league going on. Yeah, we're, we we're, we're tying with women. Yeah, but other than that, no, we're we pretty, are very good. Pretty. We are an exceptional team. I'm very proud of my guys. I did get us disqualified last game. She, he you did. Got us, you got him disqualified? You, yeah. With wait, you how do? much time was left on the clock? You guys, make sure you. you we were down four, uh, shooting two at the free throw line, and uh, I might have gotten someone's face. Forty-seven seconds left in and the game. Oh, and they that's, 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 on, that's on the coaching. Yeah. No, it's not. Clemmer, what are you doing? I, I immediately intervened. I talked to the ref uh, to no avail. I'm very unhappy with the league, but my team, uh, we stand strong. Yeah. You Were you in a game. suit? Uh, I, was, I was actually on the active roster for that game, just in case. Yeah. We, had, we had a limited... <laughs> usually I am in a suit, though. That game yeah. I was not. I was saying he has to slick his hair back like Pat Riley, right? Maybe for the playoffs. Yes. For the playoffs, that might have to happen. Yeah, and, he, and it needs to be soaking wet. Like he's more of the Bob Huggins type. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. More Bob. Thank you. Nick. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah man. What a shout out. All right, before we get to the bracket, let's talk about Factor. This holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, convenient meals to keep you energized on jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you get fueled up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. Uh, I've been singing Factor's praises forever, ever since they first sent us our first like little meal package or whatever. It's amazing. You just put it in for two minutes, whatever the meal is. You can uh, cater your meals to whatever your dietary needs are. Put it in for two minutes, you get it back, and it tastes like you literally just cooked a meal right for yourself. Although for some of you, including myself, if you're not great at cooking, it actually tastes better than whatever you would cook for yourself. You save time, you eat well, and you stay on track with your healthy lifestyle while tracking all of your holiday to-dos. If you're too busy with holiday plans to cook, but you want to make sure you're eating well with Factor, you can skip the extra trip to the grocery store with chopping, prepping, and cleaning up and all that garbage while getting all the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. They're fresh, never frozen meals are ready. And again, just two minutes, so that all you have to do is heat up and enjoy. If you're looking for a calorie conscious meals or if you're looking for a di uh, calorie smart, whatever it is, but anything like it could be less than 550 calories per serving. Uh, if you need an extra boost to support your wellness goals or feel uh, better during the holidays, you can do Protein Plus with 30 grams of protein per serving. This November, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor packed meals delivered directly to your door. Head to factormeals.com slash LCB50 and use code LCB50 to get 50% off. That's code LCB50 at factormeals.com slash LCB50 to get 50 percent off again factor is awesome highly highly recommend them first matchup of the day the number five seed versus the 12 seed again things to do when you're bored five seed is scroll through a photo album and zoom in on random photos that's the ultimate plane move yeah you know, zoom you, in yeah you just kind of scroll through your and just like zoom just look at 
parts of the photo. See if there's anything in the background <laughs> photos. That's oh, I've never I, I like oh, looking yeah. through old photos. I've never zoomed in. Yeah. He's oh, the I'll first. zoom and look for stuff in the background. Yeah, so I think we could, we could be as broad as just like looking through old photos, and that's totally fine. I, but if the you zoom look in around so, an airplane, everybody's just scrolling through their photo yeah. album. Mm -hmm. Do you ever use that time to clear out old photos and videos? I try to. Yeah. But it's it's a process. It I, it's one of my biggest regrets. I like mass delete it now. I have no memories. Every time yeah. I get a new phone, I don't carry over my photos. I'm just like, let's get I, really I think it's clean. I, yeah, I'm not clean a sentimental site. guy. Do you have iCloud? No. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, I need I need that. I love looking through old photos, mm. but a lot of them are in iCloud on my phone, so I can't even look at them on the plane if I'm on airplane mode. I, I recently discovered on Snapchat they save the photos that you upload from your camera roll. I guess. And so I found a whole crop of photos that I didn't, I thought were gone forever. And one of which was a picture of, it was me at Brass Monkey with Mikey Podcast, Greer, Ellie, and some dude from Sports Illustrated that we vaguely know. And then also Noah. It was a really bizarre group of huh. human beings. Gang. Yeah. Ooh. Really? You had to upload that to Snapchat to throw on the story. Yeah. I threw that on the story and I was like hanging out with the fellas or something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they uh, uh, scrolling through old photos versus the number 12 seed, um, just spacing out. And this is a general cure to boredom, just a general space out, uh, brain turns off. I find it very hard to do because... Just a question, is this, that. is this daydreaming or it's spacing out? Or is a big difference? What, what's the big daydreaming difference for you? I think, I think spacing out is no real... Like you sat right. and you're like, I don't know what I thought about there. Mm. Right. Whereas daydreaming, <laughs> you're thinking, you're yeah. thinking about a specific thought. Yeah, like I think yeah. with Marty, it's like a, your brain turns off. Dude, I can completely... Yeah. <laughs> Turn it off. We know. Like yeah. anytime I want, it's yeah. just not one single. That's really thing. nice. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So you're probably a re you're probably very patient. The most patient, probably the most patient guy you'll ever meet. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like you're waiting on a long line. It's like okay, let me just turn my brain off for yes. forty five minutes. Because I always yeah, that's what I do. It's like I'm you like, skip ahead. I mm -hmm. cannot do anything about it. So I'm like ah, just see where life I'm takes. Very me. jealous. Yeah. Very yeah. jealous of this ability. Uh, so scrolling through old photos versus spacing out. We'll start with you, Che. Yeah, spacing out. I mean, I love to space out. I feel like that's when you get your uh, best penile activity. The blood leaves the the brain. Goes <laughs> You're right back where Here you we left. go. What? It's always about the cough. What? The best penile activity. Best penile activity. Yeah. As far as yeah, I feel like you know, space out. So you're not thinking about sex stuff. You're not. No, you're just. You just, you just come out of it the days with a boner. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I've never. <laughs> Dude, you got a boner from abstract <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> yeah, not even. So, uh, I don't understand that. <laughs> Can you elaborate? You want? You want to show you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, kind of. <laughs> oh, you had us going for that point two seconds. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're just thinking about nothing, and then popping a narb. But I, I, you have to be thinking about something sexual, no? like. No, not usually. You're just thinking about nothing. I can't. You nothing get gets you hard. Is horny your baseline? Uh, no, because, well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because yeah. like, I'm sleeping and stuff. But like when I'm here, I'm like doing stuff and thinking about stuff. So maybe. Horny might be your baseline. <laughs> yeah. That's inc incredible. You do things to not be horny. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's the only reason he does stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you you're taking a bunch of cold showers at home and it's like, no, because like I'm engaged in like doing stuff and like you know playing with my kids or you know cooking or chores around the house. You so. play with your kids so you don't have to be horny. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they got to study your libido for science. I think, like strong, very strong. It's, yeah. it's, it's not even recharge out rate. Recharge rate not as great as it used to be. Okay, mm. mine's like two days. <laughs> really? Yeah. And I mean, in my prime in high school, like it was. Break. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's absurd. It's just a funny thing to compare it Fucking to. Like, king. Not like 20 minutes of commercial yeah. break. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, KB. Yeah, I've been looking into this, especially recently, trying to achieve it. I mean, I think it's the basis of meditation, mm. but it's so hard for me. I think like the, the Buddhists are into this, but I don't do it. So I have to go with uh, photos, which I do sometimes. Mm -hmm. KB, can photos. you like if you're watching a TV show, can you completely like focus on the TV show? I can focus about on other things? on a, something I'm watching. Something can. That's I'm not saying, like, like thinking that you're thinking about. The yeah, way yeah. You're but I'm just saying some people can like they came and 
fully focused on the TV show. They're thinking about other oh, things. Oh, that's a disability. Why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I guess that's just my, a lot of my friends that are disability. Mm-hmm. Dis- yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of my friends are disability. <laughs> <laughs> Stunned to hear that, Marty. Shocking news. <laughs> <laughs> were, these, were these your classmates? <laughs> oh, shit. I did sit with them in, the, in lunch. When you had to take remedial tests. lunch, yeah. <laughs> remedial. And in class. we would always take tests together. It was like our thing. <laughs> Too dumb for regular lunch. I had to go to remedial yeah, yeah, lunch. Remedial <laughs> lunch. I had to have extra time. Uh, uh, so one for scrolling through the photos, Nick. Um, I can space out. I think it's scrolling for, through photos. I think it's easier. I do it more. Uh, so the one knock against spacing out is it happens to me, and probably a lot of us when we're driving. And you yes. get home and you don't remember the drive at all. And it scares the fuck out of you. That, I, it does happen there. I used to drive home from Columbus a lot. And that's a two-hour drive. And I used to get home and not remember a single thing. Hmm. Um, but is it, voluntar- is it voluntary? I like, think it's a bit scary is what I'm saying. But I, if you're like, oh, I'm bored. I'm going to space out right now. Could you do it's, that? I don't think I could. Right. You know what that's called? It's highway hypnosis. Really? Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm driving poorly, and I'm like listening to music, yeah. and I think I'm conscious of like yeah. turning and being. I just don't remember. Yeah. And that um, that part of it's scary. Is like you, your sense you're waking up from a trance where you're driving you sixty miles an you, hour. You convince yourself that you hit somebody. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going uh, looking through photos. Looking through photos, Marty. I'm going with uh, space now. I, I I sit there. I go. What What does life even mean? You know, it's like, what does it That's mean? That's introspective. And then, that would be a, a conscious thought, right? Yeah. Listen to. I think spacing the, out. I have is to nothing. finish it, you schmucks. I uh, say, yeah. what does life mean? Why get upset? Why care about anything at this single moment? I can't change anything. Boom. Nothing. So you like goad yourself and into being myself. conscious. There might be monks that are envious of you. Yeah. yeah. yeah they 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 fucking dedicate their life to it. I'm. We got to get you to Tibet. I'm doing yes. it on Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah. Shave your <laughs> <laughs> throw them into bed. Uh, so two to two right now, Tommy. So I'm torn here. I love to daydream. I'm, I, I, it's one of my favorite things. I have a lot of different dra- daydreams I go into. Grady Vasquez was always the athlete uh, that I would daydream about. Where I was, um, I was the cor- I'm the quarterback of the Browns. He was on the Astros. Now he's on the Yankees because that's just who had the number one pick. So like sometimes I'll I'll dip into those daydreams or I'll daydream about me. You know. There's me. I'm a right fielder on the Yankees at points, so I like to daydream. Mm. But I don't like. I can't space out. I'm incapable of spacing out. So if we're, are we differentiating daydreaming and spacing? Yeah, out? I'm thinking oh, yeah. of that as like the opposite. Okay, yeah. so then for that case, I'm going looking through old photos. I love to look through old photos. I love memories. Three mm-hmm. to two. Clemmer? Yeah, I'm similar to Tommy, where it's very hard for me to space. Like it's hard for me to go to sleep at night. Like mm-hmm. I have a really hard time shutting my brain off. Uh, I had some panic attacks a few years ago, and because of that, shocker, the therapist uh, said, "No, I don't have I don't have a lot of anxiety until I got divorced, and I had all this anxiety." Your and the divorce do- comes up a ton. Well, it was like a life changing. It was a huge like moment. Like I me, like, see man. why she divorced. If you were if you were always talking about your divorce, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been talking about it for twenty years. I don't know what happened. No, so the therapist said that uh, you to divorce me- twenty years ago. No, <laughs> uh, it's a joke. I was talking about my divorce while I'm married. That was playing off of Tommy's joke. It's okay. So the therapist said that spicy. If you feel your like your toes and your socks, that's a good way to like because then you're focusing on oh, the here fuck. and now. Now it's all I can think about. Why did you He's say right. that? That's I feel like I, I can't. No, it's a, my toes it's a good socks. thing because that means you're not worrying you about non-sleep. Yeah. No, it's, I don't like I don't like zoning in on one part of me. Mm. Oh, it, I don't it, sleep with socks on. No, it's, it's anything you can focus like, the way your toes you feel start like with the blankets. one individual body part. Okay. Oh yeah, so, that's what you do when you meditate. Yeah. You start with like your feet and then you go all the way up. But even then, and and in theory, you eventually come to a point. I guess where you're supposed to like not really think about anything. You're supposed to and. I could never get to that point. Like, I, I was going to kind of get fixated on the toes and the blankets, not the other nail. So, I really struggle with meditation. I really struggle with shutting my brain off. So, because of that, I would say pictures, which I don't do a particular time. I, I think about where I put my tongue every day. Oh, where, stop. I hate that. Stop, dude. Where do you rest it? Or you think about how oh, much you no. blank and breathe. The breathe. That always fucks me. The up. blanking, yeah. Breathing. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're gonna be I don't think up. my tongue fits in my mouth. It's Mine too wide. I would be a dog the entire day if, it, if I didn't put it in. <laughs> the crazy thing was it that your, your tongue rests on the roof of your mouth or whatever? Yeah, like, right, I can't do this. Oh, I can't I breathe. Like I can't don't see. Like and I don't know where my it. tongue is. Now it's dialed awesome. in. Yeah, just totally dialed in. Uh, okay, so the scrolling through photos is going to move on. Next matchup is the four versus the 13. The four seed is just kind of eating. 
And I'd add on somebody included to, and which I think is as good as like just continuously checking your fridge without finding anything, mm. which is something oh. if I'm bored, I'll just do that. I know I read, just looked 10 minutes goes yeah. by. I'll go look again. Nothing there. Um, and that's going up against the number 13 seed. Um, thinking about all the productive things you could be doing, but not doing them. So like oh. when you're bored, you just sit there and you think about the things that you could do to alleviate your boredom, but you don't do them, mm. which is something that is almost in its way a cure to boredom. I, I always would say in college that like I like to be productively unproductive. Mm. Like if I'm not working on something, then I want to at least be like Dude. watching a TV show that I'm like watching or like playing yeah, a video exactly. or like something where it's like at least if I'm not doing anything, I'm being like productively unproductive yeah, as exactly. opposed to just sitting there fucking drooling on myself. Yeah. Yeah. S- start with you, Clever. Um, you're exactly right. I had a story and now I forgot it because I'm getting old. Um, yeah, my answer is going to be checking the fridge. Um, I'll remember the story later. Oh, I thought. Good have you answer. ever checked the fridge? <laughs> I do. I do. I check the fridge, but then I know I do a skinny guy thing, and then I won't get anything, and then I hate myself for being skinny, and I go back and do it. Oh, I know what it was now. Uh, so the productive on. Un- unproductive productivity thing that Tommy's talking about. So I made a promise myself when I was 11 years old. And it's if I have any baseball thought, I immediately have to look it up. I can't postpone it. And and, and uh, I've been doing that for years. Wait, but you were the, how old are you? Saying? Like 11. So, so my, how would you do that back before the internet? What would you do? I have baseball encyclopedias. Oh, so you run to the baseball encyclopedia? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean a baseball thought? Like who was the Astros third baseman in 2006? Exactly. And then I'll be like, all right, shit, I don't know. And I got to go. I wonder why your dad was changing the, uh, all like Catholic, Jewish, everything. So he's Good like, my, my fucking <laughs> son is running to the encyclopedia every day. Yeah. Well, and so, <laughs> so we got to get this guy under control. I mean, people had encyclopedias back then. That's how we looked stuff up. Yeah. Pro baseball reference saved changed your life and it used to be that they would only update baseball reference every year so you get so excited for that day it'd be like yes they're updating baseball reference that day crazy (laughs) and uh it was like in like december like this Uh, is the best day of the year uh tommy yeah i don't like the thinking about what you could be doing that's depressing it's like if i'm bored i don't want to just be thinking about how much of a piece of shit i'm being eating's fun like yeah maybe i'll have a fucking twix bar or something or i'll just see what's in the fridge i'll eat twix boys Mm -hmm. But don't you end up hating what you have, and don't you kind of hate yourself for what you don't have? Or like, I'm like, ah, oh, I don't have anything good in here. Ugh, why? No, I like to just... Tommy, before you move on from Twix, we had that candy one where you and I were Twix brothers, right? Yeah. We, we both love Twix. And then you were in the Chicago office, and you brought me a Twix. And I was like, this was really nice. Yeah. Did you just get it from the kitchen? No, no, I actually stopped at a 7-Eleven. Because there was a box of Twix in the kitchen. Uh, you got it. Tommy. No, I oh. went out of my I swear I went out of my way to uh, I, go I, to a 7-Eleven. I was kind of mad. No, I got it. I actually was going through expense. Re- I didn't expense that, but I was going through expense <laughs> reports uh, yesterday, like doing them. And I was like, why did I get picked up at a 7-Eleven? And then I was like, oh, that's because I went to go buy Nick his Twix bar. Uh, Thank you. Okay, cool. I've been doing that at work every day lately. I I get the same thing for lunch, and I get to buy one, get one free. I'm just giving people free lunches every (laughs) day, and they think I'm buying it. The Hawaiian bros. Yeah, yep. The Bradas. The (laughs) Bradas. I guess every Hawaiian place does that because they do it here, and it's not even the same establishment. They give you a second (laughs) meal? Yes. You know Hawaiian bros. I get it every, like, three times a week. It's never happened to me. Oh, really? It says it's buy one, get Uber Eats. It's always buy one, get one off. Never happened to me. I mean, you're you're still paying, like, $45. No, (laughs) mine's 20 bucks. Huh. I gotta look, yeah. <laughs> I, the, think, the, I don't think you're hitting the right too. I don't right know how it's possible for them. I, yeah. I can't figure it oh, out. Oh, yeah, I'm stealing money from them. Yeah, that's like the same with like the, the, the Pret deal. Yeah. Like, I don't know how that's possibly <laughs> profitable. Oh, it doesn't make Pret. sense. I have no idea, but I'm going to keep writing until the wheels come off. It uh, pained me to cancel it. Basically, yeah. What is the Pret deal? Uh, it's it's free coffee. coffee. It's 25 oh, bucks coffee. It 25 bucks a month for coffee. unlimited coffee. Well, like, very profitable. How much is it? It's like five bucks here. Five bucks per coffee. Yeah, but coffee costs nothing to make. But right. it costs, but they could we be making five money. bucks per cup. Right. You know what I mean? It's not necessarily that. Or but they I, could charge like a hundred dollars for yeah. one place. The other thing too is they're also having you not go to the competitor. What do you mean? You're buying your car from somebody now. You're getting it from them. Yeah, you're but not going elsewhere and spending your money elsewhere. Yeah, I guess, but like the, the the margins for them have to be going crazy, like bad compared to like a Starbucks or whatever else or these competitor guys. Mm. I, that part I don't get. And their coffee isn't as good, I don't think, as the other places. Oh, awful. Absolutely yeah, awful. But I just keep going back to the well. Yeah, it isn't. It wasn't good. Uh, so that's two for the eating. Marty? Uh, what was the other one? Uh, thinking about doing the productive that things one. you should be doing. Yeah, that one. I like to, like, I don't eat when I'm bored, really. I just, yeah. if I'm hungry, I do it. Yeah. That's usually what you do, you know? Yeah, you but eat like I f- like to think about, like, I could go meet this person out, but I'm choosing not to. It mm-hmm. makes me feel better about my decision. 
You eat like a fucking pig, dude. It pisses me yeah, off so much. Yeah, it's tough sitting next to mm-hmm. you. Yeah. yeah. Very you tough. We have like the Wendy's, like the like a breakfast that they made that they thought like three people will buy, but they just want to offer it because they want to put it in a commercial and sound like, mm-hmm. like make it sound interesting. And you're the one that's buying it. Yeah. Marty it, only eats beige foods. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. No yeah. greens. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, that's really true, yeah. actually. I mean, you had like four Snickers in one day the other day. Yeah. And I go to bed 190, wake up 185 every morning. Jesus Christ. Uh, Nick. Come on. Um, <laughs> I swear to God, I do every morning. I don't like thinking about being productive while I'm being bored because it gives you a sense of guilt. I think boredom is a luxury. Our, our mm-hmm. grandfathers fought for us to be able yeah. to be bored. Mm-hmm. And it's good for your brain. It's good for your brain. I think, um, and I don't like feeling guilty while I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, sometimes when I'm bored, I just want to go taste. Mm. Even if I'm not hungry, I'll go have, uh, you know, having deli meats in the fridge and just grabbing some. And that's, oh, that's good. It's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, You're totally pastrami, soprano, salami. Like, yeah. Oh, I do the roll up. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Put some cheese in there. Yes. Yeah. Put the cheese in. I make a little oh. roll up. What do you mean that sounds smart? You've never done that? I never, I never, w- <laughs> I, if I have cold cuts in my fridge, it's there for a reason to make sandwiches for lunch. I never, Wait. I never think about like picking at them. Oh, just serious? go grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Um, I, what about like a jar reason, of peanut yeah. butter? Dip a spoon in. Lick, lick That's spoon. for peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like, I give peanut butter to my dog. <laughs> my dog likes peanut butter. I don't do it. Oh, How do you feed it to that, So you put it on your bowls? Nope. Give it to him in a spoon. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Just go. My naked eating, body. Sick eating fuck. when you're not even hungry. Yeah, eating when you're not even hungry. KB. I, I last night thought I reinvented life where I, I really wanted ice cream. And I've talked about it before. It's the best ice cream in the city. I always order it. And I was really high. And I was like, what if I just get ice cream and I spit it out? Like, cause I, I was like, ice cream always. be bulimic, basically. It, it, always, invented bulimia. it always upsets my yeah. stomach. Like, whenever I have ice cream, the taste is so good, but it gives me a stomachache. And I went to bed and woke up with an awful stomachache. So I was like, what if I just eat it, I suck on it, get the flavor, and then I spit it back into no, another you, cup? No, that would still make you sick, right? Did no, it, it was okay, but it, it was it, the thing with ice cream you is it trust. melts. Yeah. It melts in your Wait, mouth. you actually did it? Yeah, I did it for a little bit. And it didn't really work that well. And then I was like, oh, I just want to eat it. But I think I think there is something to Like, you can't do that with a meal. You can't do that with, like, breakfast, lunch, or dinner because you need fucking, like, nutrients or whatever. But if you're, like, if it's a, it's a good workaround for dessert. Like, if you okay. just want to have a taste of something, but you don't want to have the calories or whatever, oh. suck it and then spit yeah, it out. Suck out all the sugar. Gum, you yeah. fucking moron. Yeah. No, but it does. You does gum, gum taste like the fucking outrageous Long Island raspberry from Holy Cream? No, it you does not. Probably get a, you could probably get a. But I think you're still. But this ingesting. is still. You still need to ingest to like experience. No, the just the taste. Mm. With ice cream, like lick. But some goes. Why don't down you just one up it and just get something that smells like it and just smell like a? Cloth. No, I need to taste it. You're just like inventing like a very. Selective I, I think there's something to here. There's something to it. No. no. There's something. To no, it. there's nothing to it. Like spitting out a cookie, way, spitting out it, ice cream is insane. <laughs> spitting out ice cream was hard what because it melted. I didn't, I, I didn't factor for it melting. What were you uh, spitting into? It came with whipped cream. I put all the whipped cream on and then I spit it into the whipped cream cup. <laughs> so like, what's another? What's, oh, <laughs> okay, crazy. You're, tre- yeah. you're treating ice cream as dip. <laughs> Basically, yeah, what, but like it was what's so another good. Food you could do it with. I think a cookie. No, you could chew the. Oh my! You could chew the cookie and then spit it out. Beef jerky. No, you can't do this with anything. Oh, this is just, be, I don't know. Well, cookie's too dry. Like it'll be I'm not beef jerky because it like takes a while to chew anyway. Then you could just like get. You the just taste. need like a, bir- yeah, a baby that. bird to feed it, and then you're just. Like, I think I think you guys are. I think there's something to this. Eh. No, someone get me a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Clubber's rant. <laughs> rant no, I don't see myself doing that. Uh, it's KB. Uh, food is one of the best. I think most Americans they only eat out of boredom. Mm. Yeah. What's a KB boredom meal look like? If I'm off the cush, like I'm, it's, <laughs> it's standard. Like I get Oreo overload ice cream. Oh, I get yeah. Taco uh, Bell praline butter cake. Praline I like sweets. Butter. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected like that. Like carbs. Uh, yeah. you're, you're a sweet tooth, KB. Uh, Jay. Yes. Wow. I'm going to say the food, but for a slightly different reason. One of my favorite things to do is if you, especially if you're on a road trip or a long drive, or if you're just at a gas station, you go into the store, whatever it is, quick check, wah, wah, and you just look at the fridge because they got everything. You want to see what the new beverages are, what kind of chocolate milks they have, what kind of Gatorade flavors they have, what kind of energy drinks they have, what kind of juices they have, okay. if they have any store-made stuff, like the Turkey Hill stuff with, uh, yeah. with Wawa. So I love to just go 
there and just stare at it for two to four minutes. And not buy. Survey, survey the landscape. Not necessarily buy. Maybe if there's a good deal, maybe if there's a buy one, get one on uh, some Muslim milk protein that uh, I like. But uh, yeah, I like to just go stare at the beverage. And my wife knows this. Like, we go to a Wawa. It's like, all right, just go check it out. Dude, we need to change the show to autism. But, uh, <laughs> this you're, is uh, crazy. You're just stopping at a gas station just to do that. No, no, no. Like, if we, if we have to, <laughs> yeah. stopping at gas. I don't mind it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. 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 Gas station always has weird snacks but imagine yeah. being chase wife's not, all right not all right yeah Steve. go stare at the out. fridge honey <laughs> yeah, where's he going he's stares okay. at his fridge it's his thing like that. quest bar has blueberry now oh. <laughs> yeah no I'll, I'll come back to her and report I'm like oh this is just yeah. new body armor flavor like body armor midnight? but like doesn't a part of you wish you had it or you're fine just knowing it exists no just uh, wanna anything yeah. to stop him from eating window sills. yes um we had this in our dining room like a very long window with a windowsill that was painted white i was teething i guess or i would just like put things in my mouth and i would bite the windowsill and also <laughs> like matchbox cars and i would like eat paint off of them <laughs> Um, so to prevent this, my mom put mustard on the windowsills and the cars. So, so to prevent the taste of paint, they put something <laughs> edible. Wait. Yes, that I didn't like. That I didn't like. <laughs> That's all you're doing, honey. You're just looking around. Just because don't eat like, the windowsills. Like, baby, check out the 7-Eleven's yeah. windowsill. <laughs> windowsill in your mouth and spitting it out. <laughs> I haven't done that in a, probably about 30... One, my son's bulimic. He keeps spitting out his windowsill. <laughs> Gotta send him away. It's the perfect workaround. <laughs> you don't have to digest it. You just get to taste it. Uh, so the, if, you, if you ever see yourself at a gas station or rest up, check it out. Very relaxing couple minutes. See, but I'll usually try at least one thing. If I see some crazy thing, even if I don't like it, yeah, it's just like, a bite, yeah, I'll buy it. I'm not it. saying definitely don't buy it, but like you don't have to buy everything because you're probably going to get interested in a bunch of things based like, on their packaging and labeling and stuff. I like went that. to uh, uh, Duncan a couple days ago and they had loaded hash browns. I wasn't in the mood for them at all, but I bought them just to try them. We're sure, yeah. weren't that great. Duncan has the best bagel of all. Time. Duncan has awful hash browns. Yeah, I was terrible hash fan. browns. Was not, not a load it sounds interesting. Best bagel. It was just like I've the them. It was like the spray cheese and like very shredded bacon bits yeah. on it. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't much to it. Hey, everyone, uh, they're wake up wraps though. Duncan wake up wraps. Pretty I, good. I, I like the sausage crust. egg and cheese croissant. If I'm getting Duncan breakfast, oh, I'm getting hungry now. Who said their bagels are the best? Ugh, their wow. bagel. They're Do you disavow. Think that? They're toasted. Plain bagel is just a ridiculous, delicious. Just, like, the worst thing ever said. Delicious. <laughs> Disavow. <laughs> well, have you had it? I have. Yes. No, you haven't. In New Hampshire, there's not a lot of bagel places. The only place to have bagels is Dunkin' Donuts. And like, the fuck <laughs> that what? <laughs> the tone in which you said that was so funny to me. The only thing I hate it was so Dunkin sassy Dunkin is that they, most of them, just hand you the butter to do it yourself, and that's just disrespect. Really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, they definitely do that in airports. Tabs. I, I yeah, done the in tabs. It's like, it's like 18 of them. Yeah, that makes me know. really upset. Like, <laughs> yeah. just like I had you do it. Yeah. No, yeah. It's kind of the legend goes, right? Like, your Dunkin' Donuts would be better than ours, too, no? Like, they anytime that, you get closer to Massachusetts. Nah, I don't think it's, it's true. There ain't truth in that, honestly. Uh, anyway, eating is going to move on. Next up, we have the number eight seed versus the nine seed. The eight seed is watching a movie or show. We could throw, like, just binging in general onto there, uh, staying yeah. away from that type of binging that. Tommy's talking about uh, going up against the number nine seed, uh, winning arguments in your head, and cool. I think we could explain more what we mean by that as we as we move through this uh, part of it. But we'll start with you, Clemmer. Um, watching binging shows, movies uh, versus winning arguments in your head. Yeah, I I guess the answer it's tough because I do do the winning arguments in my head. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll have like the conversation, and I'll even play both. Like I'm in the shower and I'm bored, I'll like think I'll even have the whole conversation in my head, like both sides. Uh, Meek so I, Phil really got me there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, I, I Meek wins you, again. Do you, do you replay old arguments? Because that's what I like to do. But I like win in these ones. I try like, I, what no, I should have said. Most of it's mm. what I will say, what I want to say. I'll like, rehearse what I. But then it, it never ends up happening, like how you imagine it. Because like that's just not how the world works. Um, but but I will say my go-to though typically is to watch like an old like. If I'm bored at home, I'm like, oh, I'll throw on the West Wing or I'll throw on this old show. And so I, I got to say TV because that's the one I usually go to. But both are good answers. Binging, Tommy? Yeah, the arguing one is almost more aggravating. If it's an old argument, like Nick said, where it's like, damn, I wish I said this. I wish I said that. I almost think it's frustrating. But specifically this, binging like a TV show that you've never seen, just binging a show that you're hooked on, is, is, it's just one of the greatest things in the world. And it's been a while since I've, I feel like I've had one. I've really been hooked on. Um, but when you're like hooked on one, it's like, 
It's just a matter of getting like getting through the workday just so you yes. can get home and go yeah. binge that. Just get to the weekend so you could just yeah. go binge that's that not, show. It's like, almost like not even being bored, I guess, at that point. Like that I'm, would, I'm yeah, looking forward to like, it. I guess. The opposite of boredom almost. But it's like any whatever. Anytime you have free time, so, anytime you don't have anything to do, you're like, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I almost think the new thing yeah. is what takes it out of this discussion i'm thinking more like if, for just to use a more common example it'd be like the office or something some shit you've seen a million times and like that oh, be the binge because that's like not necessarily like a, that's less that's more boring than it being something brand new or i don't think i binge the office like or a show like that like i would put it on and like not pay attention yeah, yeah but think, that's like, almost discover, part of it discovering a show from the pilot and you're like i've watched then seven hours pass well mm. i don't think it's fair to say you have to be bored watch like we're you're doing something to take you out of boredom i guess so yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, well, just a quick side table. Tommy's looking for something to binge. Quick side, just throw, throw something you think Tommy should binge. The Bear. The Bear? Oh, tried. Oh. Don't like it. Oh, I love it so much. That, <laughs> well, Marty? Yeah, that was bingeable, but not in too enjoyable. enjoyable. Yeah, it was nerve wracking. Yeah, oh, I love this. So Marty? Much. I wouldn't go I back told, to it. Based on true story, eight episodes. Second. Nick? Uh, it's this white gold. It's about plastic salesmen in London. It's Chuck Bass from. Gossip Girl as the lead. Do they speak oh. in British accents? Oh yeah, Ugh, and they're I, like they're like scam. I I, I just found it one day and it was like yeah. that was the last thing I enjoyed binging. Mm -hmm. I don't have the ability to binge anymore, but yeah, I think it was called White Gold. They sell plastic like window liner. KB, it's a binge. Something suggestion. for Tommy. For Tommy. Uh, Party Down. Part, great show. It's a funny show. Very good show. Easy to watch. I That's feel like it's harder to binge comedies. I think you'd like Party Down too. Yeah, you would. Yeah. It's very like it is proto hard to binge comedies, Tommy. Yeah, is. I agree. Yeah. I want to binge something where like a thriller it has a, a cliffhanger. Right. Yeah, cliffhanger every yeah. episode yeah. Yeah. based yeah. on a true story. Well, okay. Bear, Bear probably will watch that. What Have you watched um, huh? what is it? Mayor of East Town? Oh, Mayor of East Town is solid. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's Tommy. that girl, right? Kate, Kate Winslet. Did that yeah, Kate Winslet. She's like I the lead. Yeah. You know how I am with female leads in TV shows. Tommy, go home. Go and watch White Gold. You you could really relate to the handsome, handsome British lead. Okay. I don't binge a lot of shows nowadays. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, I think maybe it's called Encounters. It was like a four-part alien series. Hmm. It was on Netflix, yeah. and one of them was the one that Za was involved in. Wow. Oh. Okay. I will say the yeah, good I, suggestion to Nick. Just to your suggestion, I'm pretty sure the Chuck Bass guy got in trouble for something pretty bad. Yeah, he did. But this is—he's playing a character. <laughs> Separate the art from the artist. Fair enough. I'm still listening to Remix to Ignition. Yeah, wow. me too. <laughs> a lot, purposely very loud. Uh, so two for watching the movie or show. Uh, Marty, you're up, right? Show, 100%. I don't really argue with myself in there. Mm -hmm. I, I don't... It is... You are right, though. It is stressful when you go back to an argument. You like you leave here, have an argument with someone, and you're like, I should have yeah. said this. Because yeah. it never comes out how you ever want it to come out. But I never argue in there. So I'm always right, so it doesn't matter. And part of the issue with arguing here is the arguments are usually who can say the thing the fastest and not the not the most... And not look Not the, the best. And also not get angry. Yes, yes. that's it. If you get angry, you lose. No matter what, you could be the sm way right. Yeah. If you get angry, you look like a loser. The key yes. to winning an argument, especially online, is just being the person who's taking it less serious. Yes, yes exactly. Yeah. Which is until unfortunate. You take it, until in person, you, what'd you say? Oh, in person, it's a race to the first laugh. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yes. But oh, then, there's no coming back. But you also could be in a position where you take it so not seriously that you know you're taking it so seriously mm -hmm. on Twitter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's all and voice. Uh, me and Greer did this to Rudy the other day. We were arguing about God versus evolution, and Rudy was like the James Webb Telescope, and we were like, "Oh, the telescope told you that there's <laughs> like a win. Yeah, instant, all the time yeah. instant win." When Tom is about to lose, you always do the. Oh, the tele oh, I didn't know the telescope told you evolution was real. <laughs> I'm sorry, voice. Rudy. You could be dominating an uh, an argument, and if you stutter. Oh, oh you're done, yeah. done. You're I mean, that's done. like the premise of this show. Yeah, if you misspeak at yeah, all, this God, show dead. it's game over. You've fallen into this trap many times. Joey Lane oh, has never been on the show. Yeah, no, that's very <laughs> yeah. true. Oh, my God, <laughs> one time I once texted. I he was your attorney. Yeah. I fucking love that guy. <laughs> I, I don't know if I ever told you guys this. There was one time for LCB, I was making a skit, and I really needed like, uh, an impression of someone for it. So I texted what I thought was Joey, um, uh, other Joey that left. The dozen impressions, 
Um, oh, Molinero. Yeah. Molinero. Molinero. I thought because I didn't have the last names program in my phone, so I thought I texted him and I was like, "Can you give me an impression of like I don't know what it was called, uh, Howard?" And he's like, "Yeah, sure." And he sends me back, and it's Joey Langone doing the impression. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, that's, oh, that's and I was unreal. like, "Oh fuck, thanks, dude. <laughs> I might not need it." Wait, did you ever tell him that you didn't mean it? I don't think I did. It was, <laughs> and believe it or not, it wasn't a great oh, impression. My God. No, <laughs> yeah, was, oh, that's awesome. It was. Oh fuck, I wonder if I have that on my Mac somewhere, like stored. It was very. Funny. I would love to watch. That. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, sorry. So, Nick, um, watching a movie or show versus winning an argument in your head. Um, It doesn't happen much anymore, but it's going to be binging shows. I haven't been able to do it in a while. I don't I it's not even like I don't even start. I can't pick anything out. Mm. Oh. So it's, that's yeah, because we have the ability to watch anything ever created pretty much. Yeah. With a simple download and then <clears throat> it's too overwhelming. So way too overwhelming. Robbie Fox suggested this too in the Twitter prompt. He was like, just scrolling through is almost an alleviation of boredom in itself. Just like looking through yeah, all the yeah, options. Yeah. yeah. And then you get frustrated and watch what you know. Yeah. And you're like, you'll pick out one. You're like, I'll go back to this if I can't find anything. Dude, and then it's, you... it's getting frustrating to even pick what streaming service now. Yeah. Because yeah. there's so yeah. many. It's not it's usually just Netflix and you get in there and you find yep. it out. But now it's like, I got I got Peacock coming out with shit. I got, I got so many things. There's like, too much content. Too much. Mm-hmm. There's too much content. Agreed. Uh, KB? Yeah, watching movies and shows. Watching movies Way and shows. more enjoyable. J- you Jay? just got into movies, didn't you? So you're starting yeah. from like... From scratch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So you watching a movie a day almost? Uh, during like the smartphone era, which was like the last, whatever, 10 years, I kind of took off from cinema. So what's the last movie you watched? Um, the yeah, Interstellar. Or maybe a better question is like, what's the, your favorite movie you've watched recently since starting to rewatch movies? So many of them. Fuck. What was I just raving about? Did you rave about the Prestige? Loved the Prestige. Prestige, great movie. So you're just yeah, going so through I'm no going one, just watching like the best movies ever made. You think I'd like that? The Prestige? Yeah. Or yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, Marty would. Maybe. Yeah, I'm a prestige. prestige right I think you like prestige. Yeah. All right, I'll watch that. <laughs> no one is. I think this you, is going. Whoa, that's gonna yeah. be Marty. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you would have an audible. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whoa, love- his whole floor <laughs> covered in drool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay. Oh, I thought we were gonna have a nice little moment, boys. Oh, Marty would like that. <laughs> Definitely a movie or show. Typically, yeah, it's going to be like background noise. I'll put on like a Seinfeld or Office yeah. or something that I, that I used to like. Yeah, agreed. Uh, so watching movies and shows is going to clean sweep, winning the arguments in your head. Now we have the one seed versus 16 seed chain. We'll go through the chain options first. There's a lot of Marty options because I think, Marty, I'm not <laughs> totally sure if you understood. <laughs> Yep, not 100 percent sure. Usually, what happens? Yeah. Okay. So, and best, I didn't. Even, I had more. I didn't even type out. But go. Uh, again, uh, the prompt for this is best things to do while bored. You put Mandela effect. <laughs> <laughs> I truly mm-hmm. think about and that you, quite mm-hmm. often. Like, like thinking about like, it, or be, like be a victim of it. <laughs> yeah, being a victim of, of the Mandela effect. And you use the uh, the options Chick Fil A and Onyx Pokemon. Oh yeah. What is the Mandela effect? So I. It's like Chick Fil A. Like, how do you like? It's a Chick Fil A like used to be C H I C, fillet, and now there's it's like C H I C K fillet. Wait, it's a K in it now? Yeah. Thought, well, no, it's not now. It's it was, just that there always has been. Yeah, C H I C dash F I L dash A. Yeah. Yeah. Or like Bernstein Bears versus shit. Berenstein Bears, or and stuff like that. Like people have a collective different remembering of something in history. Nick, how do you spell Onyx? It's O N I X. Don't fuck with me but uh but you know that it was O-N-Y-X. a y at one yeah. point yeah like people have different yeah. it is an onyx it's like the rock snake pokemon it's like the fruit of the loom sure. logo steven you would yeah. think oh the fruit of the oh, loom yeah. logo has like a cornucopia mm. or something but it actually that doesn't. one's a crazy one to me yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah see i actually like this no it's a good list to scroll if like you find mm-hmm. a website fruit of the loom yeah. doesn't have what a cornucopia. a cornucopia like the little like the thanksgiving thing you know, yeah right? yeah oh okay uh conspiracy theories yeah, this every conspiracy theory. Right. I just go down a, a rabbit hole of... Which usually, one do you like? Uh, I really like the Denver Airport one. That mm. one's a good one. I bet that one's almost not even a conspiracy. It's just like a fact. It's kind of just yeah. a fact. Just, there's uh, something yeah. going on. But there. like the aliens, I got... Before aliens became cool, I really got into it. Yeah. When did they become cool? Yeah, now it's mean? like everyone's like... It, we just people collectively like under, say yeah. it to like... Like I'm... Aliens are in the North Pole. You know, like I know that. But okay. aliens are all real now, and it's like they're so you, just you, under you, 
Okay. Aliens are under. You're the saying ice. four aliens went mainstream. Well, yeah, you're like a North hipster Pole. alien. For <laughs> yeah, the North Pole now is lo- losing me. They're in the North Pole. Or Antarctica, Antarctica, I think. You seem you seem oh, very cool. confident of this because it's true. They're okay. under the ice, and they got some guy was finding them, and they, the government shut them up. Oh. Oh, okay. Are you gonna go try to? find I believe it. No, I, I just know they're there. But would you try to find them? No, I don't. I don't feel like doing it. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, never move off the couch. Yeah, just try and stay on the couch as long as possible. <laughs> so like a okay. competition against yourself to like knock set it yourself off the couch. up with food. My other one I was going to send you is is just look at the FedEx arrow. Yeah, the arrow and the FedEx thing. Yeah, that's just fun. <laughs> it's <is> very cool. <laughs> yeah, that it's just f- gets me fun. It makes me going. Uh, watch old videos of yourself and laugh at how funny you are. Parentheses. Tommy binge days. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't it's, me. Oh my god! It's, I love a good Tommy binge day. Usually good for maybe two a, two a year. Oh. Usually one. I wish Nick was here for this one. Usually one during oh uh one during summer break, one during Christmas break. Just oh, which I watched today. Tommy binge day. You Tom- truly will day. watch like all videos of yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll watch them all. I'll, bin- I'll binge Tom. How often are you disappointed? Um, almost never. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever? You don't have, like, have any we critical have thoughts. We have different experiences watching your content. <laughs> what? So you never have like a critical thought about like, oh, I should. Have this <laughs> no, it's, I was like, God, that, that was. Has fucking anyone good. ever uh, like walked in on you watching yourself? Oh my yeah. god. Oh yeah. Well, I can't I, think of anything. It's worse. like a recurring yeah. thing with me and my roommate where. Like, if we're sitting on the couch together and I, like, play something off my mm. phone and it's my voice. <laughs> oh, it's every day. Oh, embarrassing. It's every day. I'd someone, rather be caught jerking Oh, off. yeah. Someone submitted a, an interesting... Oh, uh, yeah, so... Well, guess uh, who submitted... We'll play guess yeah, who well, submitted no, we'll it. Try to guess who submitted it. Uh, okay. Watch old videos of yourself and laugh at how funny you are, parentheses. Tommy Binge Days. <laughs> oh Was that you, Nick? We can't figure <laughs> out who submitted that. What? Uh, I've heard you taking a shit at uh. barstool watching videos of you <laughs> yep yeah, i do that I quite often videos coming from you and, and yes. you laughing well. <laughs> yeah i mean I think someone was like someone asked the crazy question do i ever have a critical thought watching them back <laughs> no <laughs> no I, I look back i literally i laugh out loud you laugh more <laughs> i'm so funny here <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I heard. I I'm so funny. He's laughing, talking to himself. He's like, "Here comes the best part." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <The> best part. <laughs> uh, put on the mirrored TikTok filter and be repulsed by how asymmetrical you are. Yeah, this was me last night. <laughs> oh no, I've yeah. done this. Yeah, I don't oh, think I've ever done this. The, the you face, become. It flips your face to the other direction. You tap it real fast, and the more symmetrical you are, the less your face changes. I was fucking Quasimodo. Dude. I was <laughs> oh, a, a surrealist be, oh, painting. It was, mm-hmm. I, and I was just like, it's I'm not. hideous because symmetry is naturally what p- humans right. are attracted to. Mm. My eyeballs were like, are five inches uh, uh, up, and they're I'm fucked. Did you see that one guy on TikTok that th- I think he started this years ago? But he's like outrageously asymmetrical. Like his face goes, <laughs> it looks like a bean facing like one direction, kind of. Uh, oh, yeah. He's- He's incredible. I seen him. Yeah, you guys need to go to get the mirrored TikTok and just you tap the screen and yeah. it is demoralizing. Does it fuck mm-hmm. with you that you've never seen your face before? Well, like, I, don't I, would, I would argue that you. point. No, you don't. Like you don't see. You don't know you can't how see I see your, own your face. face. Yeah. Like I you've guess. seen it in a mirror, but you don't know how I'm looking at your face. Fair. Like, you could look yeah. at yourself way better than me. That's why every time they do one of those trends where it's like, look at the front facing camera version of yourself and look how much different it is than the back facing. And like, well, I always feel is. like yeah. I look way better in mirror. I look my hottest in hotel mirrors. Mm. Sometimes like hotels, mirror bathrooms have like <laughs> that. No, I've yeah, I've proven that. Yeah, I I'm way more jacked in hotel. <laughs> yeah, hotel mirrors it's and then, something about them. But then I look at like a snap as a ugh, like when I look mm. like at a picture of myself. Hotel showers make you dry. What do you mean? <laughs> what does that like dry out your skin afterwards? You like when you're out, it's just like you're just dry. It just makes you dry. I'm well, the opposite. Hotel towels don't work on me. It just pushes the water around my body. They, they hurt too. Oh, uh, dude. Once I'm done with the hotel bathroom, no place has been more wet ever. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 a lot of the showers don't even close all the way so anymore. Wet. So water is all fucking have underwater. A fucking, like, it's just half of a How, That pisses this is me yes. off more than why, anything. Why so do this? Yeah. It, it also feels off. like every hotel is having a competition of like who can make it harder to get to the hot water. Yes. 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 Or whoever has the... Who, they're having a competition who has the worst rug. Yes. Oh, dude. <laughs> the rugs are still the worst of all time. Uh, the next option was fantasizing revenge. That was Nick's. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Worst drug is a CBS, yeah. by the way. An ex coming crawling back, <laughs> getting the text to what you'd say back, just yeah, fantasizing yeah. revenge. Like, or like, you know, I, 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 you put yourself 
you make yourself like a mega star in your head and like a you're on stage singing a song and a girl that scorned you or never gave you the time of day's front row. Uh, you're making Tommy want to come. I can like, feel his erection. I don't have to imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> you know who does yeah, this a lot? I love fantasizing. Yeah, I've, I've stretched this out for Hub, Oh, well, Hubs does it probably like a psychopath. Four hours. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, no. We were saying you said Hubs does it a lot. Dude, he... Talk to Hubs. He's a dog he's human sick. being. He's sick in the head. He is. He, is, he disgu- every, is he sick and disgusting? He sick. lives. He lives to if, to just live off revenge. Like he mm-hmm. wants people to die. He, he hates, he hates, he hates oh, his sister. Is a great motivator. Hates yeah. his uh-huh. sister. Yeah, yeah, can't stand. Hates his sister. Oh my god, he hates his sister so much. It's, it's great, and he's like pretty open yeah. about it. Hates yeah. her. Yeah, just despises he hates his sister. sister. Hates her. Awesome. Today, <laughs> <laughs> like not even a joke <laughs> either. Like, like if we had, if we had can him, can you get you, him in here? He just yeah. hates his sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Text, uh, text, him, text him. Get, text him. Get in here. You know what he, he said today? To we're, in, his, we're in pod one, right? Pod one. Yeah. yeah. He's like, 2024 is the year that I'll get cancer. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like that's gonna be my cancer year. He said. Say, he, he said it today. He said cancer. He said he feels cancer. Yeah. No, but he'll, he'll drop like a randomly very dark comment yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, is like fucking trouble? piece of shit. Fucking what? piece of shit. Like, no, not even that. He'll just be, just be like, yeah, this is the day that like a man comes up and shoots me in the mouth and my brain splatters <laughs> yeah. all over the back of the wall. Or the other day, where, or Clever's like, yeah, just wait till you get to forty four hubs, and he's like, I'll be long dead by then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he'll randomly just throw like a right. super psych sardonic yeah. thing. I just yeah. emailed us. He's on his way. But yeah, he's emailed I, you. I just want him to unload on his sister. Just do it. Like, <laughs> <five minutes. laughs> Does he just like dread? Strange turn of phrase, but okay. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the. I don't know what it is. But he'll just randomly throw out a very dark thing. But he does. He was talking about going to his sister's with like meeting, like hanging out with her new husband, and he was like, "I w- would rather kill myself." Yes, like, like he'll throw the darkest thing about it. It's is insane. He, like, public about this? You're pretty public. It's pretty public. Yeah, here, here. Okay. Use use Marty's mic. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. It's not terrible. Here, give, well, me, the head, give Tommy, me your headset Tommy, too. Tommy, set up the prompt. Yeah. So, so uh, we were we're talking about best things to do when you're bored. And somebody submitted the pro. What, what was that? That wasn't the, par- st- that that wasn't the part that you're supposed to huff and puff about. I just like I, I had no idea what I was coming in here for. Okay. Uh, and somebody suggested what a was fantasize it? about revenge. And Marty was like, "That's something Hubs does a lot." Oh yeah, yeah. talk to us a little bit more about that. <laughs> Fantasizing about revenge. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just like at all times, I'll just think about people who have wronged me. Players who have lost me bets, like I don't know, just referees who fucked up. Is there one person? Maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes your sister. Oh, (laughs) okay. You needed to frame my head the right way where you wanted to go. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Oh oh, yeah. How like I just don't like my sister. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. It's terrible. Uh, It's gotten a little better lately. Since, like, I mean, she got married, so I, like, had to, like, soften up everything. Right, that walk, always happens. I walked her down the aisle, so, like, you know, I had to be, what, but, like, I didn't want to do any of that stuff. Right. <laughs> they, uh, Nick and KV were like, oh, is it, like, a bit? Like, or is he, like, public? I was like, yeah, pretty sure I'll come in here. But, like, yeah, I don't like my sister. <laughs> no, yeah, she, like, took my car, like, she, she took over my car, like, early on, like, in, like, right after high school she took my my dad's car didn't like that wasn't a fan of that uh and that really set me off because like then i got a really <laughs> then i got a really like, shitty car after that like i wanted that car gotcha. and she took it and then she like like multiple car accidents with it ruined oh. it <laughs> fucking bitch <laughs> <laughs> i love her but it's like yeah i mean like oh. she you love her but do you like her no, definitely. <laughs> that's a good way to put. That's a, probably the best way to okay. put it. Yeah, like it, like she hadn't visited my apartment since we moved in. Since me, and my fiance, like moved in the same place, yeah. and she would bug us like every month and a half. Like, why have you know? When are we gonna come over? She just loves you, dude. <laughs> she sounds like a very normal, nice person. Well, you don't know like so nice. you don't know like anything about her. But, yeah, but yeah, just, just what you've explained. It's all I, I love know. her, but I don't. I don't like her. That's so you best. don't like her because your dad gave her a car. No, no, no. That's just want. like what. She, and she wants to come over and visit. <laughs> like I had to buy like a seven dollars suit like to wear for her wedding that like I was very upset about. I made a very big deal about. Why? It's her wedding. <laughs> because why do I have to buy a seven dollar seven dollar black suit to wear her wedding? I were you like I in the? Was it you were a groomsman? I walked her down the aisle. Oh, okay. So like he want they wanted me look. Did you rent it or buy it? I had to buy it. They could I could not rent. I, it was a, <laughs> it was a specific black suit. Like they had to go on a specific website for. I don't know what suit deals we have, so I don't want to say any names. But um, I had to literally go buy this exact one, and it looked like any other. I think I've shown a few. It looked like any black suit. And that that suit, really yeah. set me off. <laughs> 
So are you do you are you thinking of revenge on your sister? Do you fantasize revenge on your sister? Yeah, it's weird yeah, to say the word fantasize up, and not? sister in the same thing. But what? What'd you say? You're getting married soon. Are you going to try to get her back? Get her to rent an expensive. I would love for her to just not come to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> But she's got it. But she's like has to come. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't like not do that. Like we're not on that. I'm like, well, no, I don't know. It's in a year, so like, she's got a year to like really piss me off. Like, yeah. like, Jesus Christ. At the moment, everything's okay. So maybe you, after sounds like great. A, so you almost fantasize about her fucking up in a way in which you could rationalize and disinviting her from a wedding. I'm looking for any door. For <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That would be a dream scenario. Oh, I'll have to keep you guys shit. updated. Uh, right thank you, Hubs. Yep. Yep. Uh, thanks. Sure. Sure. Love all. <laughs> what a sick I'll puppy. Yelling, I, I always knew that Hubs was like a Packers and like Aaron Rodgers fan. I didn't realize he was this big of a fan. Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> sick. Uh, he's that was amazing. That's, yeah. uh, I needed that. Yeah. Oh. That I, that honestly, like, I was hoping we weren't hyping it up too much. That exceeded it. Yeah. Tommy and I oh, have yeah. done <laughs> anything wrong. Yeah. No, no. We did short he boards made with no them for no rational pull. <laughs> no, 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 no. He no, didn't no, not him in any way. Just trying to hang out with me. He just straight up does not fuck with it. Like, like, me and you would yeah, always, no, we were the only ones that, that. kind of knew his dark, because he doesn't talk on podcasts a lot, so yeah. Yeah. but me and you were like, we know how it's oh, sick he's a Oh, yeah. Sick. sick. And then sick sometimes you just got to put him on the mic to say, how's your sister doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let him <laughs> unleash. Ken Jack, when you blog this episode, the title of the blog should be Kenja, or, uh, Hubs' sister is such a sweetheart. <laughs> and he has to eventually And he has to publish it. I want it. Hubs to have like a weekly hour-long podcast yeah, was, where he just hates his sister. Yeah, Dude, he's, <laughs> he's a big-time hater. Every week. That was one of my he could, favorite like, examples of a hatering I've ever yeah, seen. That, yeah, was, that was incredible. Great. He had to stop yeah. himself like four times yeah. like, saying something. Yeah, that really was mean. pure hate. He was yeah. getting flustered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that was really funny. Um... Next option was <laughs> sitting on the toilet until your legs fall asleep, Che? Yep. Hell yeah. Do you mean like while pooping or like? Uh, you don't have to. Maybe you can just go fake it for a little bit. Uh, uh, a lot of dads do, do fake this. poop. A lot of dads fake a poop. I do fake. I used to do fake poops at my old job because I didn't want I to fake poop work, at home to jerk off. That yeah, that has a purpose. But mm -hmm. you would, if you're at home, you would just sit on the toilet. I, d I did this at like an internship, like when I was in college. You just go to the bathroom, pretend you have to take a dump, and then just. Oh, that's, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, completely. Yeah. A job, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, is completely fat. Or like I used a, to do that at Home Depot all the time. A family yeah. party or something yes. that like you don't really yep. feel like it's just like I need like fucking five minutes to myself. Yeah. I think I told you guys this story before, but I told my my last employer, I was like, yeah, I have like IBS. So just I'm making you guys aware that I don't have IBS. But it was a great excuse for as to why I would just go to the bathroom they and definitely need let's fall asleep. I, there's oh, literally no way for them to back it, figure out, I would mm -hmm. assume. Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, so falling asleep or sitting on the toilet until your legs fall asleep. Uh, watching sitcom reruns. I count this a little differently than the movie binge thing because TV, I feel like you're talking about more, right, Jay? I was, yeah. Yeah, like more like watching it on a cable, like on that sort of thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, putting on a live album, closing your eyes, and imagining that you're the lead singer was Nyx. Oh, yeah. So a live album of a band. You close your eyes. You just pretend you're the lead singer. Absolutely. Yep. Who yeah. are you the lead singer? Acoustic version. I pretend I'm doing karaoke. It doesn't matter what. I'll put on any artist, and I'm the lead, uh, lead singer. I'm in my head. I'm out on stage. I like that. What was like the last this. band? Yeah. What's the last, last band, band I did it to? Or a notable one, I guess. Um, notable. Little Baby? No, I'm not really a fan of rap music. Probably like Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters? Okay. I'll do it with, with YouTube covers. Like watching oh, a YouTube no. cover. Yep. I, I pretended I was the lead singer of the Goo Goo Dolls when it was raining in Buffalo. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you would. I love that. Uh, okay, so we'll run through the options again. Uh, the Mandela Effect, uh, Conspiracy Theories, Never Moving Off the Couch, uh, The Mirrored TikTok Filter, Watching old videos of yourself and laughing how funny you are, parentheses, the Tommy binge days. Uh, fantasizing about revenge, sitting on the toilet to your uh, legs fall asleep, and putting on a live album, closing your eyes, and imagining you're the lead singer, Che. Which one of these do you like for the Che in game? I'm a huge fan of uh, going to the bathroom until your legs fall asleep. Going to the, the bathroom. reason is because when you're done, it is tough to get back to your seat or what, wherever you're at. And it's very obvious, kind of what you've been doing. It's like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? It's like, he can't even walk. It's like, uh, he's gone for 20 minutes. It's like, never never a seen. scenario, I feel like. Oh, that, no, that happens to me. No, no, it happens to you, but no one's ever like, what's wrong with that yeah. guy? It's, it, well, there's certain it's, toilet heights. Like, the, the yes. toilets at this office, the ones on the producer side, those, for at least with my height, they're prime fall asleep territory. Mm, and if you want to speed it up, 
you just go to the bathroom like this, like kind of with your elbows. Yeah, like, yeah, your yeah. Legs and 10, so you want this minutes. to happen? Do you like to you? Oh, I don't <laughs> like. The no, I don't like. I hate when it happens. Oh, I hate that. Oh, yeah. so oh I almost I collapsed in Adult to Sky Club the other day. Yeah, I, I don't think, think it's everyone good. in the world hates this feeling besides Che. It's like the pins and needles. Yeah, it's the worst. It's a different. It's like how often do you experience it? How often? I feel like you enjoy things when you don't take them for granted. So it's like, well, fuck it. That's fuck not, it. that's like, move your that's legs for borderline pain. Like, it's like not yeah, pain. it's Are discomfort. It's discomfort for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you put yourself in that? To appreciate it. Would you rather feel comfort or discomfort? Comfort most of the time. But so you, yeah, went, you, you, you have discomfort. found a way to appreciate discomfort? Yeah, that's the sweet wow. ain't so that's sweet without the sour. Jack, where like I enjoy having nightmares once in a while because it's like. That's right, what I said. Like, so you like getting sick a, and being like, "Wow, I don't scared. ever want to feel like this again." Well, let's get yeah. healthy. Otherwise, it's all just. That's why you like when the Bucks have losing good. seasons. You said this back in the day. The sweet ain't so sweet without the sour. Yeah. We're you only one filter off. Only one game back now. If you had the option. No, nah, probably not. Oh my god. I mean, I like get the flu shot every year, but. Um, yeah, yeah. Get sick once in a while. You deal with it. You wouldn't filter off bucks it's losing seasons. sheep. Uh, I, I did talk about this like years ago with Tommy and Dave, where Dave was like shoving it in my face, like the Pats are so good, and they were in like their third Super Bowl in five or six years. And I told him, I was like, dude, I honestly kind of feel bad for you because like <laughs> you can only get up for like two games a year. That sucks. Like I get up for the preseason. I get up for the draft. I get up for everything. What do you mean, get up? Like get excited. Get high. Yeah, he's like yeah. you're preaching Buddhism. I yeah, think. I think yeah. you're a Buddhist. I mean, yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's in your blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I think there's actually like a lot of merit to that in a lot of different ways. You know what I mean? Like there, you are that level of amped for a preseason game because maybe this is the year. But like if the Patriots yeah. guys don't get to the Super Bowl, right. everything else like is not right. is, is not interesting. You know? Yeah. Not even yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you might be Buddhist. Could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah just Buddhist a little temples. bit. Che, only one cool. game back. Oh, fuck. Yeah. One game back for Baker. And did you see his yep. stats are better than Trevor Lawrence this year? Yes, 14 touchdowns. It's crazy. <laughs> He's uh, doing well. Yeah. KB? Yeah, I've gotten hard, hard drug ass Kai's from pretending I'm a good singer. <laughs> <laughs> so the, putting on the music, pretending I'm the star. Yeah. Musical performance, Nick? It's the best. And I, I will close my eyes and I'll pretend like I look like. Like off stage, and like my boys are there, and they're just like <laughs> so proud of me. And like in between, like you know, when like there's a guitar solo going on in my head, I'll go over and like dap up my boys, and the, like I'll just be like, "Dude, get out here!" And I'll make like one, I'll make like Stinky Tony dive off the stage. <laughs> it's a blast, Marty. Yeah. You do this on the couch or like the shower? Both. I'll, I'll be like shower and listen be... to music and get like goosebumps. It's like outer body experience. Yeah, mm. I wanted to try this. Yeah, I would like it's to awesome. do this. This sounds fun, uh, especially Mandela if you're hot. Ooh. Yeah, Mandela effect. Mm -hmm. Mandela effect from Marty. About it a lot. Tommy, I'm good with pretending. Pretending I'm a good singer. I haven't done it with a live album. Like I said, YouTube covers. There's a I can't believe I'm actually about to vocalize this out loud. But there was this like, there's this YouTube group of like these like black guys in London. These like black kids in London called Mike Lowry. I don't know if anyone's ever seen them. And there's like four or five of them. And I would watch the videos and I would pretend like I was one. And like John, you know, my friend John was one. Nick was one. Rob was on Brian. Like we all were. And then I'd watch it and I'd be like, oh, it's my turn now. Now, like, here's coming up my part. I was the best guy, obviously. <laughs> I was the best one. And, like, everyone had their own parts. I'd watch all their videos being like, yeah, this is me and my friends doing it. My, and, I mean, they're look them up. Mike Lowry, their drunken love one. They're singing, like, outside in the streets of, the streets of London. Unreal. Isn't Mike, Mike, Mike Smith Lowry? Name Mike Lowry's the, the, it's the bad, bad boys. Yeah, it's bad boys. I have no idea. But I'm assuming they, they spell it's it like M I C. Yeah. yeah. Which Let me cool. make sure I that's like right, it. to be honest. Uh, Clemmer? Yeah, singing. I uh, I'll yeah, sing. Right. I'll sing a lot around the house. Like, I'll, if I like, if I have nothing to do, right, doing just doing errands. Just I, I find myself singing a lot. I guess and when I get drunk or really high, I I'll do it to Pearl Jam live albums. Kind of like mm -hmm. kind of like Nick does. And my wife like the next morning be like, "Oh, you were singing last night. You woke me up." I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry." You know, <laughs> that happens at least like once every other week. Singing house. Pearl Jam. Yeah. Give us a hook. Get Drop a hook on us. Uh, it's tough about the music behind me. Like, try it. Try. It. Uh, I, I would play it, but we get YouTube. I know. Too, try, yeah. try one little. Uh, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 I need the music yeah, behind you, Jeremy. I need I pretend, so, okay. Pretend that's fine. I can't. I can't. I need to hear it. I, acapella I to the beat with, for. When I'm acapella. listening to live albums. I'm not opening my mouth. I'm closing my eyes. Oh, I'm oh I'm singing along, but I do, do pretend I'm in concert. Do I need to hear. I, I need to have it behind. Me. Hubs just like, came in here. Taurus just no, no. I know. I I can't. I don't remember the lyrics about hearing the music behind. Are you? Yeah, I could sing like Sublime. Sing Sublime. I don't practice Santeria. I ain't got no crystal ball. 
I had a million dollars, well, I'd spend, spend it all. Oh. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> I never said I was good. Uh, you baited him so bad, too. That was so mean. I never said I was good, but uh, I, I do enjoy it. Speaking of baiting him, our number one seed is Jerking Off, uh, mm-hmm. and it's going up against this whole lead singer debacle thing. Jerking Off is like, that's the most responded with thing. It's like, even when Nick, when you initially suggested the topic, you're like, oh, Jerking Off's just going to win. Just going to put it at the one seed. I don't even think necessarily it will win just based off of our responses to some of these first uh, initial options. Yeah. But it's up there. Although I would argue that the the boredom that's eased from jerking off is so fleeting that it is yeah. hard for it to compete mm-hmm. to a lot of, against a lot of things. In I bracket. feel like I don't jerk off when I'm bored. I jerk off when I have to. I jerk off when it's medically necessary. <laughs> like when it's like I have to fucking you, drop you a load. Right to get now. the venom out, basically. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll do it like if it's night and I can't go to sleep. And I, I guess that's a version of boredom. Yeah, but that's right? like that's use. There's practical use. Too. Yeah. It also does help you get to sleep, though, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll start with you, Clemmer. I mean, I, I I think I might go with the singing here. I mean, I do same as you guys. Like I do jerk off, but like it's it's not it's not super regular. Uh, Marries it's not something I have to. I like you. Like, yeah, you, you got to clarify. You do it this like you mean like the same yeah. way. I'm just like as us. Like, like you do no, it no. like this. I mean, or? like I have cameras in your house and I watch you. Exactly. <laughs> same. Sure. So, yes, yeah, so I'll mimic you guys and pretend I'm you guys when I'm doing oh, it. Tommy, man, Tommy didn't used to jerk off like any of us did. Trying to yeah, we did the whole that's right. DJ spinning That's thing. right. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, it's it, and like you said, it's fleeting. It's it's yeah. not. And then yeah, afterwards, like, oh, what am I doing? I don't know. I, I sing is a more fun way to to pass time. I think singing, Tommy, singing. Yeah, like I said, I mean, look, jerking off's fun, but like, I'm never like, oh, I'm gonna sit like. Jerk off's like, I gotta jerk off. Yeah. Like, that's usually like the mood going into it. It's not like, ooh, time to jerk off. It's like, it's always I, very utilitarian. Yeah, it's very it's like, useful. Right. There's a, it's like, I have to jerk yeah. off right now. Uh, and, you know, as opposed to, I like, the, you know, boredom sitting down and, you know, I'm Mike, uh, Rob is the tallest one because he's the tallest one. And I'm Mike Lowry. I'm the main guy. Like, that's awesome. There's nothing better than that. <laughs> so you basically like fantasize about impressing black people. More or less. No, I, we're... That's his whole life. I'm, yeah, I fantasize awesome. about being a black person impressing white people. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Yeah, that's really wrong, man. <laughs> what? It's really fucked up, I think. It's a really yeah. layered thing to say. Yeah, it's like a fucking weird onion yeah. there. Uh, Marty. <laughs> it's just that group. <laughs> uh, I'm going singing. I mean, I was fucking... You guys know I was... Stomp the Yard team. I pretended That's right. I was a Stomp the Yard guy. I found I used to sing this song all the time. This city, and I don't. I oh lo- my god, the city's it's gonna, gonna break, break my heart. heart. What the <laughs> fuck is gonna? The city's gonna love me. Gonna love me. me. Yeah, that's such a great like song. That song. And sometimes I think like, yeah, this is about you know me this? in fucking New York yeah. City. Like this city's about to I've fucking it, break me. Reaction. Yeah, and I it, because it's such a singing song it in is. the car. You blast it, and you think you can sound good singing it. And mm. I do think I was him so many times, so I'm going yeah. with that. All right, Nick. You're just walking yeah, home. I I, I, yeah. In no, the, 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 it. I don't, it's, <laughs> yes. Jerking off isn't, an, isn't a board thing. Well, I've, yeah. I've never been sitting on the couch and like, I guess I'll jerk off to So I, I've been fun. in that phase, and it's, yeah. it's, not, it's not good. No. <laughs> Such it's very slow. It's not even the pleasure is negligible. It's muffled. Yeah, Jay's face right now. He's <laughs> <I'm> disgusted <laughs> in you. It's the worst bust. It's going to be a drizzle bust, and you're like horrible mm. bust, embarrassed, and like you yeah. feel like it's a waste. Wait till you're very horny to jerk off. Yep, mm. I'm going to go up pretending I'm the lead singer of a band that I'm listening to. Pretending to be the lead singer, KB. Yeah, this, the music one is so high for me. It is, it's the top dog. <laughs> I think I've spent probably like three hours straight doing this, like before, yeah. just sitting on my couch, uh, it's listening, the best. like. Hearing the crowd like screaming for an encore, and I know I'm yeah. coming back out there. <laughs> like, because listening to music in itself yeah. is obviously just great, but then you're adding you're the one singing is mm. fucking insane. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Jay, do I need guys. to? Do I need to ask Jay? <laughs> this crowd is fucking amazing. <laughs> and I'm just like, I think it's me doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you wear? Are you wearing like the team's jersey that the city you're in? Oh. Sometimes I'll be doing that. Yeah. A lot of yeah. times I go to like the, like the scrawny kid in the front row and I like grab the back of his head and sing right to him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing because you do that too? Not the details like that. Okay. 
a lot of times it's like a piano in a hotel lobby that I just oh play, that's a good one too kill it with the fray <laughs> oh, you do the fray the fray, fray is a yeah. big one I used to do yeah. yes how to I save a life a new... how I to save a life I'm almost being able to replicate that yeah, yeah dude if I walk into a hotel lobby and you're dude, playing Boston perfect. by August yeah oh yeah. oh <laughs> 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 Holy oh. shit! You guys I need to now want to see KB singing "How to Save a Life." In, yeah, in a well, hotel. it's never me singing it. It's no, no, I know. Voice. Yeah, yeah, it's their yeah. voice, but you're, it's you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's me in the situation. I'm him. Yeah, I, I, but I mean, look I've like taken me. an edible and done this, and I've gotten full body goosebumps. Yeah, <laughs> where I almost vibrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the best, yes. best feeling of my life, dude. Like hearing the crowd sing back my lyrics. <laughs> oh, like, shut up, <laughs> oh, they're screaming the. <laughs> And I, I put the mic down and let, and let them go. <laughs> Dude, I've sat on the edge of the stage once and just like shook my head. <laughs> Let's hear it, Cincinnati. <laughs> Can't believe this is my life, man. Yeah. Holy shit. The fucking details, you guys. I had porn in West Virginia. No, I, I should, we should prescribe this to some people. Yeah, yeah. it is should, great. Yeah. I'm going to try it just based off of your guys' description. This sounds amazing. Yeah, find a band you like. It, I like doing live albums just because you hear the crowd, but you can imagine if you get good at it, you can throw in your own crowd noise in your head. Oh, you're yeah. listening, just like yeah. studio version. Do you do cross gender here or no? Just out of curiosity. You could. Yeah, I've been in Paramore once. That's yeah. hard. Oh, for me. Paramore would be great if just on this it's one. It's harder. Um, yeah, like it's you, hard. You're dancing yeah. like she would on stage. And ah. Like, Okay. You, you ever do? I like to sometimes yeah. imagine I'm I'm on America's Got Talent and it was my audition. I got the golden buzzer. Big one. Yeah, dude, yeah. I'm doing Edwin McCain Al B. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, do I do I need to ask? This is disgusting. You guys are picking <laughs> playing rock band over what? over <laughs> over boredom, jacking off. Different than actual horny jacking off. Even a weak dribble is better than <laughs> singing Paramore. What are we talking about? I've never heard of anyone doing this. Uh, How much that has to be. You're getting like five seconds of my uh, pretty good pleasure. Of like top, not like. Yeah, but how, if, five seconds. Sure, yeah. Of like the top of the top for the most part. It's a lower quality of quality. And you instantly get you've back never, down to base. You've never heard people cheering for an encore for you. <laughs> So you're at, you're at, say, a 10 out of 10 pleasure for five seconds. When yeah. we're doing this, we're at about eight for however long we 45 make. minutes. Yeah. So I guess maybe well, a, way to that, right? a way to compare that, it maybe. not my pick. At least in our world is, like, imagine the high you get from a, a boredom bust versus, like, a, a dozen crowd chanting the yak thing to you or whatever. Like, chanting bad boys at you. That times a million. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean... I'm, I've never, since I was like maybe in elementary school, where I'm imagining the clock wind down and I'm hitting a last second shot. Like I don't, I don't picture myself. I get in this scenario, you have to not. like music. Yeah, I like music. Yeah. Like, don't you? Uh, you never pictured yourself like scoring a touchdown for yeah. the Bucks? Imagine like that's you're, crazy. Oh come on, that's crazy. that's crazy. What do you imagine yourself drafting the guy who scores touchdown for the Bucks? <laughs> I don't imagine myself really doing it. I just you don't imagine you, things. What? Yeah. Oh man, oh, that's, that's you're sad. missing out that's on sad. a whole yeah, it is thing. Sad. Yeah. I'm almost like jealous that you might be able to do this next, like mm. for the first time. Oh yeah, we might be yeah. setting you up for Shay's something. about amazing. to get introduced to the world of imagination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've never fantasized. About not the something. way you're really talking about it. No. Huh. What have you fantasized? If, what's your way of fantasizing? Like porn fantasizing, you mean? Like jerking <laughs> off. Yeah. 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 Outside of that, like I don't imagine. That's crazy. I, things I, are crazy. The only way you can use his imagination are... is to imagine big no. tits. I love watching, yeah, football, basketball. I never. You never imagine you're the coach I'm or. Or like sometimes like if I was at you know a Yankee game and like oh. the the ovation Derek Jeter gets when he I'd be like oh that's for me. Dude, yeah. that one that one movie where the, that's where crazy, the bleachers right? going to, like it's like Derek Jeter, yeah, Tommy like Smoke. I'm like yeah. you know a guy in the Yankees and like that's the ovation I'd be getting. Like, What's that's... the movie where the kid throws the ball to the catcher from the stands and they sign him? It's a rookie of the year. Uh, rookie of the yeah. year. His yeah. arm breaks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw yeah. like crazy. Yeah. Like that. I thought that was gonna happen to me at one point. Yeah, I yeah. think every kid. That's why it's a <laughs> Harry fun Potter movie for kids to watch. Yeah. Yeah. is the best. But that's when you're a kid. No, I. No, I'm, I'm going to go home and do this. Yeah. I still do it. Would you, well, what about, like, say, you imagining you won 20 bets in a row? 
You ever done anything like that? I don't think of, I don't think about something. What about like that. this? No, Every kid has done this. Present. Every guy has done this. When you're playing basketball in your driveway, thinking that the Celtics scout is going to be driving past you when you hit a three. Yeah. Or like imagining that it's game <laughs> seven I, I, of the yeah, finals. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I said I did stuff like that when I was like in elementary school. After right. that, I don't think I really ever did that. Mm. So Chase going to go with uh, jerking off. God, imagining is awesome. I know. It's great. I still think I could get to the NFL and NBA <laughs> I sometimes. I think when I go home tonight, I'm going to pull a kid on stage that knows how to play the guitar. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. so yeah. Let me know what song it is later. Oh, yeah, well. So many options. The Killers are great. U2 is great. Like Those are ones yeah, I often do, too, really at good home. live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was one of my favorite concert I went to was U2. Really? Yeah, it was amazing. I want to go to the Sphere so bad and see them. Okay, before we get to the second half of the bracket, let's talk about Z-Biotics. Look. We all have these busy lives, and we can't afford to waste a day stuck on the couch because of a few drinks the night before. Zbiotics is the answer that we've all been looking for. They are a pre-alcohol prebiotic that is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic, which is incredible. Uh, it was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking, and here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Z-Biotics creates an enzyme that breaks down that all that byproduct, and it's designed to work kind of like your liver, except in your gut where you need it the most. Just remember to drink Z-Biotics before drinking alcohol, drink responsibly, and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. The first time I tried it, as I think um, both me and Nick, because Nick had recommended it to me first before they became our sponsor, he wanted to come over and steal the product that they had given me because he loved it so much. And so I used it when I believe I was in Vegas last or something like that. And it's incredible. You feel like a million bucks the next day. And you again, you just need to take it before you start drinking and you feel incredible. So go to zbiotics.com slash LCB to get 15% off your first order when you use LCB at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code so that you can stay prepared no matter what the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash LCB and use code LCB at checkout for 15% off. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this episode. Uh, so now on the other side of the bracket, uh, shout out to the sponsor that I inserted it there. Uh, six versus the 11. The six seed is Wikipedia Rabbit Holes, Oh yeah, um, which is something, that, at least for me, I find cures boredom very easily. I'll mm. go down the link of like reading why the Panther tank in World War II had a bad drive chain. And I don't know why I know that, but it's something I Googled last night. Um, me to the controversies tab is like moth to a flame. Dude. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, and that's going up against the number 11 seed. Uh, arguing with strangers online, which it seems to be a lot of people's cure to boredom, uh, whether that be on you know, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, or some shit like that. Just arguing with people about like, sports, music, anything. Just go and argue with people. Keep it going as long as you can. Uh, so, again, wiki rabbit holes versus arguing with strangers online. Che. Maybe I'm weirder for this, too. I never go on Wikipedia. I'll do it to do, like, a prep sheet or something like that and get info on somebody. I, I am not curious about anything that has really happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's an all-time Che hey, clip. Right. That's an all-time <laughs> Che clip. That's the enemy of you. Holy You're shit. You're not curious about anything <laughs> that's ever happened. <laughs> I, Jay, I'm so that's, I'm so with you absurd. on that. I, no, it's uh, true. We'll think about like a World War II tank and be like, I wonder what. What about anything from history? Like you're not. <laughs> Couldn't be less interested in history, dude. Yes, <laughs> Jay. Yes, he's the. Best. I've been trying to tell you everyone. Why do people care? Why you're wasting they're good stories? You're wasting shit in your brain from things that happened. Already happened. I care about the present and what's going to happen soon. Yeah, it did so that. Okay. I've been on Wikipedia, but again, just for like prep sheets <laughs> to get like questions on people, never for, never ever once. But like, you won't go to look up like fucking uh, Le 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 Levante David's like background in college stats or some shit like that. You know, he knows it. No, yeah, I mean, I know he's from Nebraska, <laughs> a Miami kid. But yeah, I mean, but you never uh, go there just like, to look it up, like draft research. Like maybe I'll do a little bit of that to okay. get like prepared, but never like <laughs> two unreal trade quotes. That and also we kind of glossed over, but him saying. Even a weak dribble is better than singing Paramore. Has to be a sentence nobody has ever said before. I would guarantee that sentence has never been said before. Ever. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, uh, KB. So, uh, what was the other option? The uh, Wikipedia one? I'm going with Arguing that. with strangers online. Yeah. I mean, I, all of us, I think, to a, to a degree do this. For sure. I, I like getting in the mix a little bit sometimes with commenters on Twitter. Um, once in a while, it's fun. Yeah, I'll do it every now and then, too. Uh, KB. Yeah, I love Wikipedia. Um, leave it at that. Have you ever donated <laughs> to Wikipedia? I do yes. it here. Yes. Yeah, I do it like once a year. I felt like I had to. I owed them. Yeah. And I, just, I hated when they tried to do it with that guy's weepy face, the founders. 
don't know if I've seen that. You'd ever see, like, they'd be like, they'd be the picture of the guy who I guess is the founder of Wikipedia. And he's just like this weepy looking English guy. And he's like, <laughs> like doing like a sad face and like, face. please donate $100. Oh, that would make not me like not want to do it. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I didn't like it one bit. Uh, Nick. Uh, far and away, Wikipedia. This isn't even my suggestion. I think this would be my one seed. Mm. Uh, I've gotten so much enjoyment out of Wikipedia. I think, I'm trying to think, I like, I've gotten more enjoyment from Wikipedia than the Pittsburgh Pirates, <laughs> than probably Marvel products. Wow. Um, let's see. I've gotten more enjoyment Pokemon? from Wikipedia than basketball. Like Not aggregate Pokemon. enjoyment. I, I would yeah, agree. Yeah, aggregate enjoyment. Um, yeah. It's up there. Probably. I've gotten more enjoyment from Wikipedia than Game Boy SP. Wow, yeah. What are you, what are you doing with it? So I'm like, just clicking on stuff and learning, and then I'm clicking on the links with that, and you just keep on bouncing yep. through. And like, like learning more stuff. What's your initial... Learning information you, we find interesting. Wikipedia? Yeah, it's something I find Curiosity, I interest passion and yeah. topics what was the last time you pulled up wikipedia's page is it an app we do it <laughs> no I throughout the day I yeah, yeah I, I've multiple times a day on him. when we're it's on rediscovering same. america i'm just on wikipedia well, like, what's what's the impetus you, you're like oh what's the town's chief export yeah yeah like, sometimes i'll google it. a town and then i'll go to their wikipedia just like watching. and i'll learn like what they're they do for fun and like the school's there and then i'll click on that and then it'll be like famous oh, alumni yeah and then i'll click on the jayhawk the actual bird and then learn about the bird and just like it's kind of like a nesting doll yeah, yeah. Interesting. it's a blast you, you'd uh, have wikipedia. fun with it i think if you were in the right space for a wiki rabbit hole like I don't yeah, think you'd be great. good in our. Go world. through like old NFL drafts. It's fun, like it's to click around. Fun. And, yeah, yeah. Like, rules, old ass NFL games. The charts so, on yeah. there. It's just like you see where they're drafted, and it's like, oh, they're highlighted yellow if they ever made a Pro Bowl, mm -hmm. or like green if they're in the Hall of Fame, or yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's good. I think you'd enjoy it. Super easy to ingest. <laughs> um, Marty. Uh, Wikipedia. I I don't. Getting bored and trolling on like to random people f always is weird to me. Even though s I do do it, like I guess you, you I, I guess I do it. Every blog on Justin Herbert you've ever done yeah. is a great example. I guess I do do it, but like not like I don't I don't actually like arguing on Twitter. I think that's, like beat for beat. Yeah, yeah, I don't like doing that. I, I'm embarrassed I, afterwards. I've done it like maybe twice. I never. I feel yeah. awful yeah. after yeah. every time. Yeah, because sometimes like I should you answer know you're some. Not winning. I should answer some people. You know, like when they every comment is bald, moron, <laughs> R word, whatever. But like. Are we allowed to say R word anymore? I don't know if we're allowed. You can to. definitely say R word. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I know that. But yeah, I just think that Wikipedia is fun. Like changing someone's Wikipedia too is fun. Mm, like that putting, was fun. Yeah, putting Good little time. like fun facts about them that are not true is always great. Yeah, and I also like blindly believing Wikipedia, even though you know it's not all true. <laughs> I, I hated that you couldn't use Wikipedia as a source. Yes. Yeah, school. yeah, it's done. It's right. pretty good. But we could use just any other website. Any yes. other. Website. What percent would you say is true? Probably 90, like ninety something. Ninety eight. It's high. Yeah, yeah. Pretty I high. People, all, yeah. All they did was take, add an extra it, it step. Down pretty quick. They just added I mean? an extra step because you would just hit like because they'd have the linked sources on everything. So like you, they yeah. would just add the step of now I have to click this and go to this and just excerpt it from that, even though that same exact quote already is on Wikipedia. So Kyle and I have been added to our notable alumni page of our high school a lot, and it gets taken down within ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's no. like a big army that pol like police police is it. I, I had Nick Terrani, host of Anus Podcast and Wrestling. And Kyle had Kyle Bauer, four foot eleven, and host of Anus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is his own? Wiki. It was our high school. Our uh, going to your own high schools. Uh, Wikipedia is a blast too because you go to notable. Are you guys online. on your notable? No, we were, not. For, we were I feel like day. I would know if I was. I am. Yeah. Oh wow, I am. Wait, you you're on for Ron Conk or for Sage Hills North? East yeah. or whatever? Or? Is it Marty Mush? No. Yeah, no. Marshall personality. Right. Marty Mush. Let's see. I'm very wow. curious. Last time I checked that, it was like people I had never heard of in my life. It would be like like a goalie for the soccer U.S. soccer I team. I only have like a couple people. The girl in the year behind me in high school, she was nominated for two Tonys. She was in the yeah. original production of Avenue Q. So she's like famous. She's been on TV shows and stuff. She so she'll she gets all the like notable. Do you guys stuff. have any famous? I, John Bellion went to mine. Who's John? Oh, Bellion? He's Is that the good. Punisher? He's really oh no, the good. singer. We, I don't know if we do. So, we, um. Did Florio go to Park? He went to Central. Central has him and Johnny Corbett. Okay. So the yeah, guy... I don't know about... There's a guy named Matt Rogers who's like a 
comedian in the gay space who was a senior when I was a freshman. Now he has a wiki page, which I'm just noticing. Okay, what's your high school? We don't even have a we don't have a notable alumni section. Really? We, we, find we, it. Yeah, we do. It's like an old and a governor in New Hampshire went there and and the uh, Hey, Yankees player went to the my high school. Who? Thomas Ver- Verizer? I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't know who that is either. And then also the postmaster general. Oh. I guess the, the head of the post office went to my high school. That's kind of oh, cool. Oh, you That's might know bullshit. one of ours, Clemmer. Yeah. Michael Grove. Oh, he's oh Dodgers Dodger. pitcher, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's in the Dodgers right now. You know, it's a great yeah. one. And this is from your general area, I guess, for Nick and KB. Uh, Mount Lebanon High School, their alumni page is incredible. It is it oh. is insane the people that went to that high school. Yeah, like Kurt Rose. Angle. Kurt Angle, like Joe Rogan, I think, or something. Like uh, Joe Manganiello. Um, Shay, you uh, have Kevin Feige? Who's that? Oh, the Marvel guy? Don't yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, no. The guy he... in charge of all Marvel. What year were you born? 86. Class of yeah, you guys had no crossover there. Yeah. No, that would... Because uh, your your high school, I feel like, has a lot, no? Of DC Oh, Mount Lebanon. Do they have Aguilera? I, it's crazy. I just remember what? looking at it once. It's Their, their alumni list is crazy. I can't believe mine doesn't have the famous alumni list. I have to get on that. <laughs> uh, oh, but anyway, where were we? Uh, arguing Strange versus Line versus Wikipedia Rabbit Hole. Tommy <laughs> Smokes. Um, yeah, arguing with strangers. Wikipedia rabbit we, hole. Exactly, Che. You yeah, guys just witnessed it. Yeah. Arguing with strangers online is nothing thing I do out of boredom. I do it out of anger. Like if I have sure. to, if I'm just so angry. Like I, there's like and I'll, I'll do it real or like there was this other guy. There's this guy DMing me on on or is like I, he DM me on Instagram and I noticed he's been DMing me so much commenting and he has a picture of like his baby and his wife and his thing. I just responded. I said, "You are going to be an awful father one day," and I feel oh, bad. And I feel bad for your baby that they have to grow up with you as a oh father. My God, that's brutal. <laughs> and so sometimes that's fun. Yeah, but that's out. Of, that's like not out of boredom. That's out of like you are just so pathetic. And I just and I'll literally be like, I like I'm not gonna hope that guy dies. Like I hope that guy dies. I hope his baby's fine. I hope he dies. Um, I love those are always the those people that post like and they'll DM you that stuff like the most foul thing you've ever read in your life and then their last post will be like gotta spread positivity in the yeah, yeah right. <laughs> always or like a Bible quote in their fucking bio. I've um, sent I've sent someone's DM of, to me like that was very vulgar to their wife. Mm. Oh, that's and good. And it's just like when they're all pr- yeah. like, hey, this is what your your husband with his kids on it, yeah. and she's and then his all of a sudden his accounts deleted. Deleted. <laughs> yeah. like, I would love to ruin that. somebody's life like yeah. that. Because I had a dude <laughs> send me a really mean insult, and I was like, dude, that was actually pretty funny. Like, would you want to like an internship? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's, that's good. good. That's good. That's good. That's Damn. really good. Um, but that's out of anger. That's not yeah. out of boredom. So I'll go with. Yeah, honestly, I, I I wish I went on more Wikipedia rabbit holes. I feel like it's just almost been um, surpassed by like the modern day like YouTube binge, where you're sure. just getting into a YouTube rabbit hole. But there is something simple about just being Reading. able to do this on your phone or wherever. So I'll go with the Wikipedia. Wiki, Clemmer. I think I could credit a lot of like trivia success, maybe for Kyle and I as well. Uh, or, it's good to like have references to yes. pull from. Yeah. Yes. It agreed. feels productive right. while you're doing it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Glad yeah, it's great. I'll find like old movies and I'll find an actor I don't know who's in the movie and then I'll track I'll then I'll go down that rabbit hole. I like looking like if, or like who or I just if even if I go see a movie theater I'm like with you. Who who is that person or who is that director of uh, photography? And then I'll I'll have I liked other movies he's done and I'll go and I'll spend hours. It's great. It might, like you said, it might be my one one. Um, I I do do it after every time I watch a movie. I look at that movie Wikipedia. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I, I'll like do it while I'm watching. About like production. I, I never want to get spoiled. I yeah. always get nervous. Well, it's usually if it's a movie I've seen, I'll do it. I see it on Lights Camera Barstool that I I don't give a fuck who the director is. Yes. I don't care about. Any yeah, but thought, I don't know I just, why. If you like a movie, the chances are you might like another movie that same director yeah. made. Uh, see the preview. If I like the preview, I'll go see it. Uh, you're limiting yourself though. Then, then <laughs> yeah, you only you're only allowing what they're telling you to watch, basically. Yep. Uh, so wiki rabbit hole gonna move on uh next up we have the three seed versus the 14 seed the three seed uh, we could say social media i wanted a more specified tiktok because i feel like tiktok has become more of the the biggest attention like like void you know what i mean more than yeah. anything else if, if that makes sense and for me specifically i put like when you watch like a partitioned ep- uh, like episode of pawn stars across 50 parts oh, or something i do it i works. fall into this all the time oh it's like 20 parts yeah. of pawn stars Trying to find it sometimes too, yeah, where you're yeah, like, "Wait, yeah. did I just watch 14 of 16?" Like, yes, which one was? exactly. And that's going up against the number uh, 10 Not seed, bomb. just uh, or sorry, the number 14 seed, Rubik's cube. Just Rubik's cube, and that's uh, I don't want to. Nah. 
I don't want to spoil who it was. Che. It was you Che's must edition. Must have a Rubik's cube guy here. Yeah, it's Che. Yeah, yeah. I think we I should all vote Rubik's on this cube. at once. At my job at Planet Smoothie, I brought it for six months, and I would do it during my shift constantly. I had no idea how to do it. I got two sides. Of <laughs> so you're submitting this as like the best thing. Yeah, it was, it was just kind of a fun way to. This was like before smartphones, so it was mm. like. So, I how, just, oh, yeah, so Rubik's Cube versus TikTok. Claire. I don't like TikTok. And this is because I'm old, I guess. But like the, 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 the clips are so short. I can't get, uh, I don't get committed to them. I don't really enjoy them. It's just, I don't really get it. Like it doesn't, this does not appeal to me from an entertainment standpoint. I make TikToks. I do it's like the, your job. the NYC facts. So I make them. <laughs> I don't like them. Like I don't enjoy, I don't enjoy You're them. You're not doing Clemmer binge days. No, no Clemmer. No, I mean, I'll, I like doing the facts stuff, but I don't watch TikTok. I don't consume media via TikTok. It's just not how I enjoy consuming media. It's too well, impersonal. The videos, it's the same as watching videos on Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. I don't yeah, think it, too. I don't watch stuff on Instagram either. Um, TikToks are a minute. I'm like a yeah. minute I know, Sometimes but they could be up to 10 now. I just don't, I don't like it. I also, I just. But it's easy to decommit if you don't like it. Like you just like, within a second, I feel no, like. No, but I don't yes. like the medium. Okay. Well, it's honestly like, an old. It's an old. It probably yeah. is. It's not built for. Uh, yeah. Like I consume media. I grew up consuming media very differently than that. Where I would watch a whole movie. I want like t for me, this like two minutes. It's very jarring and weird. Jumps around. I don't. It, do, it just doesn't appeal to me. This so, two minute video is too fucking. Stupid. I know, you say that, but like t twenty years from now, the, you yeah. know, young people are gonna be doing something you don't get either. Like it, it's all generational. True. I actually don't believe that. All right, I and think you're I'm different always... than every every other generation before you. Is, then you're unique. No, why are you getting so angry? Because <laughs> I, 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 I don't. I don't believe that. I think I'm always going to be I, on the I, up and up. I, Congratulations! I there's there's very popular stuff I just don't get anymore. Mm, like too. what? Like what? Yeah, there's like what's a lot something... of popular TikTok creators that are wildly famous and oh, oh, yeah, I get oh that, that, that I completely I agree. With. Especially yeah. the YouTube world. We were talking about this earlier. Like mine's the, the Twitch streaming world. People just yes. scream it. Yes, it's yeah. crazy. And like, oh, I can't. Yeah, I don't get IRL it. Twitch streams of like just. Do, what you see neon and Jack Darty every time yeah, on TikTok yeah. because that's all I see. What I was saying, like, I don't, they're humongous. I, what I was saying to Tommy enormous. is that there's like people that are like YouTubers and stuff that are and Twitch streamers that'll be in spaces that we work in. Like I'll find like a Chargers YouTuber that has his name is like Morpo Max and like he has like 500,000 subscribers never heard of him in my life yeah this it's crazy why... there's no way a Chargers YouTuber has <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's true but I that's... mean like people in our general spaces <laughs> this yeah, is why yeah. I think the Chargers I miss like back when even when we were younger like celebrities meant something yeah yes. now yeah. it's like even the fact that we're even considered something close to that is disgusting yeah like you only saw them on at movies. You didn't see them anywhere else. Right. Like you saw them out. It was like holy shit. Cause, well, yeah. Entertainment wasn't so segmented. We all watched the same thing, so it was a big deal. And you weren't. A lot they of weren't options. filmed everywhere. Like you just right. you never yeah. saw them except yeah. the movie. There are so many people you've never heard of that have a million and exactly. so oh, huge that are yeah. gigantic. A million's like ten k now. Yeah. Who's yeah. the small? Like, who's the most niche person you personally would get starstruck by? <sighs> Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> Okay, Pat just said Nikki smokes. Nikki smokes. Uh, that's a good question. I have no idea. Starstruck is a strong him? word. Star yeah, for me. I would be very interested in like uh, the GM of an expansion team, like the GM of the '98 Diamondbacks. <laughs> I would love to. Starstruck? I would talk to him for like two hours about like what nervous? was that process like. Yeah. Like, what is it like to build I a team? I don't know that's starstruck. For, that's like Fascination? interested. I think like, starstruck. Somebody different. you saw and like, oh my god, that's holy blank. shit. I can't even talk to him. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I would I would be able to but talk to uh, this yeah. happens here a lot though where like a celebrity will come in for some other person's interview and I'll be like I'm more nervous to interview this person than I would be to interview like Tom Cruise you know what I mean yeah. or to talk to this person like if I JB walk past Smoove Daniel Larson came. in New York and I oh my yeah if I f yeah you, I forgot you saw him yeah he yeah. would be mine yeah da like Daniel Larson I would be like starstruck and that's the most I niche mean, TikTok person dude we were like. nervous to do World T-shirts yeah nervous exactly yeah like that yeah. was yeah. The actual nervous like to yeah. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah. I think we had Danny DeVito in the office like a couple of days beforehand, and I was just like chilling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Rubik's Cube, one for Rubik's yep. Cube. Uh, Tommy? You yeah, scrolling, it. scrolling. TikTok. I went with Rubik's Cube. TikTok. I don't like, like, I, I hate the Rubik's Cube too, but. Mm. TikTok to me, like I say, it's like, it's not social media. TikTok is a form of entertainment. Like, mm -hmm. I, I would put TikTok more on par of YouTube or Netflix than like I would TV, like yeah. Facebook or Instagram. Like, for I sure. Yes. like, for sure. Yeah, you go sure. on, like, to be entertained. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, if I have time before bed, sometimes I'll just scroll TikTok. And I know people say oh, it's not productive, but I don't know. What's the fucking difference between that and watching a TV show? Who cares? It, it's a big difference. Agree. I don't I, know if no, there I is. disagree. I, I think, think it's not the What's the difference between em mindlessly watching an episode of Seinfeld or scrolling through 
20 TikToks. TikTok, there's some TikToks that like ruin your brain sometimes. Like, but at it's least like it's if, like different. Like you might get something funny. You might like get some yeah, knowledge out of it. That's true. Yeah. It's, you get that. But there's some TikToks that's like, if you're feeling like this, you're going to die or something. Like they tell these whole big things. I get in some weird TikToks, I think. Yeah. You might be in a worse space than I am. Like no, your no one's that's worse than yours. <laughs> you showed oh, yeah. me yours today. Oh, I showed, I showed him some like some kid. There was one TikTok I showed you that was like kind of cool, yeah. right? And then the one right after that was a kid with no brain. Yeah. Like he just had that a head was, with uh, no brain. It was bizarre. I feel like Kendrick is single-handedly responsible for Barstool like like being late to TikTok. No, we we were very early to it <laughs> because I was like, so early I, on. But I feel like I feel like at first it was nah, like the yeah, first like right. six months. But the impression of the site was For very so different. Right, where it was like TikTok. It's like that's that weird yeah, website where Ken Jack has those weird videos. Yeah. <laughs> like that's like, what I thought TikTok I, was. I, I thought was like, that's what it was fully. Yeah. yeah. I was like, so, I'm not getting on Gaz, there. Gaz has said this to me too. He's like, you're the reason I got on TikTok as early as I did, but my impression of it was very different than what it turned. To be fair, like when I was originally on it, it was a lot of disgusting weird shit. And then the shit that like is the I think that was person. just you. I think you actually set this company back a ton. Like, <laughs> you could have been early to something for the first time ever. No, because I, we, I was telling this. everybody to get on it early. And they, it, it, the, the yeah, but you're also like, here's it. this dead baby. You got to get on. Okay, here. never a dead baby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the 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 stuff that we find entertaining on TikTok now was not there when I was there. It was just people singing and doing. Or it wasn't on your for you page. No, like no for you. <laughs> it wasn't like curated in that same way it is now. It was just like a kind of a wild west of garbage. Uh, Marty. I'm going TikTok. The Rubik's, the Rubik's. It's what, what? Yeah. That just is frustrating. That's not like, that would frustrate the shit out of yeah. me. And you never got it, Jay? I've never done it. Uh, like, Rubik's Cube? You never completed. like did it completely. Really? No. Uh, mm. no. I obviously I have not. It was a big deal. It's a waste of time. No, I know. None, none of us deal. know how to do a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> There's like a simple yeah, algorithm yeah. to it, I think. Yeah. That you, it's fun you to try and figure out a puzzle. Yeah, I guess the puzzle in general. Um, Nick? TikTok. TikTok, KB. Yeah, TikTok. TikTok for sure, Jay. Rubik's Cube. TikTok's going to move on. Um, next up, we have the number seven seed versus the ten. The seven seed is a very long shower. Not falling victim to this for oh, sure. I've done this. If it's like a, on like a weekend or something, I got oh, nothing yeah. going on. I'm like, I'll take a nice like half an hour long shower. Nice no hot shower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that's going up against the ten seed, clicking your pen, which is more of an everyday boredom thing, which I like this one. I'm not going to say something. I do because I do it constantly and it's annoying and i should never do it um we'll start with you che quick my pen i think there was a stage of most people's lives where they did that for a bit uh shower yeah it's okay but yeah click the pen click in the pen kb yeah are you, are you guys not bored anymore when you start clicking the pen <laughs> it's some sort it's at least a stimulant a distraction okay. i like to do the bounce off the table and grab it that's fun yeah i shower long shower did you ever do this with like do the beats with no. the pen? Oh, I wish I had a pen. I used to disassemble my pen. Yes. Put it back together. Oh, like, yeah. I was in, like, like you're a sniper. <laughs> head. This yeah. is my pen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going long shower, though. I like playing music. Mm. Uh, just a real long shower. Get mad pruney. Mm -hmm. Hot as fuck. Get yelled at by mom and dad for using up all the hot water. Yep. Uh, yeah, shower. Classic. Shower. Marty? Yeah, you wouldn't really get yelled at by your mom and dad. Like the paint's gonna come off or something. It's yeah. like were no, they it's not. Or they were like going to shower like they didn't like ten minutes after you were done. That's just cold. <laughs> yeah. Dead man, yeah. you're a fucking dead. Man. Yeah, that uh, is the good point of, of living in apartments now. Is there, that's not a thing. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, no, I'm going. Uh, my bird used to get me in trouble in the shower, but uh, I'm going shower. But what do you what? How had the bird get the, you in a bird just by being in it? It would no, no. It would have. Rudy used to have like somewhat of my voice and would just scream, oh. Mom, Mom. And my mom would think I'm, gotcha. keep, yeah, I I'm trouble in the shower, shower calling okay. her like I need a towel or something. Uh, and then she'd get up. It is that. crazy fucking parrot stock. It's yeah. insane. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, I understand that. It's almost not uh, talked about enough. It's Time. really not. Yeah. Like, we always have about how cool it would be to communicate with like animals. Like, we have one we can communicate with, yeah. but we're just like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, it's a gross. fucking bird. Yeah. Bird. yeah. yeah. Uh, Tommy? Uh, shower, shower. I love a long shower. Mm -hmm. Love it, love it, love it. It's an activity. Long shower, Clemmer. Yeah, if I know I have like nothing planned, like I have nothing I have to do that night, I'm like, ah, I can take a really nice long hot shower. That sounds pretty good. All right, so now we're going to have our uh, two seed versus our 15 seed. Our two seed, um, we'll reveal it after, but first we'll do our Che and two. Uh, I'm very interested. Nick is, uh, Nick's going to miss both Che and games right off the bat, which is almost kind of, I don't want him to have to miss them. Um, but our second chain game is very interesting. It's a combination of uh, both KBs and Clemmers. Some very interesting options coming out of this one. 
Uh, fuck, I really want to save them. So, you know what? Before we get into those ones, we'll do uh, the, the Two Seeds video games. That is like one of the most common ones submitted by everyone else. I think video games is a pretty common alleviation for, for boredom, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, I almost big, feel like video, video games, games are so. above that. Like, they're more than just a boredom tactic. Well, no, but like... I feel like they are... Inter- like, I feel like going to the movies, I would have that's boredom tactic. Yeah, but like, if you, if you could be sitting in your house bored and be like, I'm going to play a video game, and that alleviates your boredom. You could say that, like, that same argument you could use against any one of these things. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Because you know, like, I just, bored. yeah, I guess I elevate in my mind, like, video games are like elevated than like a hot shower. Like, if I have a new video game to play, it's like, that's a lot more exciting than going home and taking a hot shower. Yeah, but then it doesn't necessarily have to be a new video game. Could it, yeah, it could be like an older could one. Could be old one, something you're just going to replay again. Like, yeah, that's true. I mean, we've all done that. Like, hell, I could go burn like four hours doing like a Madden franchise mode. You Yo, know what I mean? yeah, no I do, question. Do it all the time. Yeah. No yeah, one. I guess. Yeah, that's true. I do yeah. It. Yeah. Uh, so that's the number two seed video games going with the 15 seed. Uh, we'll start out with uh, <laughs> Notes app rank the cities uh, of my fictional state oh, by population. I'm not explaining this. We'll just, leave, we'll just skip over. No, that. we're absolutely. No, no, no. We absolutely have to explain that. Uh, <laughs> so explain the whole your fictional state population thing. Well, I just have a state that I've been creating since sixth grade, and I've been adding to it cities, landmarks, colleges. Yeah. That's awesome. What's it called? School districts, New Platson. <laughs> I, 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 I love this. I like this. I think this is incredible. I like this a lot. Uh, yeah, I can so map you, it out. You um, should it's never. It's kind of uncanny actually speaking about it out loud when I've only like it's only been in my head for twenty years. I would yeah. love to see a map New of New Platson. Yeah. You should never be bored. Can you give us like a Wikipedia rundown of, yeah. of what New Platson's Wikipedia would look like? I could. Wait, you don't I have like do alumni that. yet, do you? It would take too long. I don't want to like. I want to do it justice. It would have to yeah. be a separate thing. Or uh, what's the average uh, salary people make in New Platson? It's like um, a much better, more modern U.S. Oh, U.S. United States. Yeah, I would yeah. assume it's part of. I the thought US, it was. Yeah, yeah, but I, I was going to say I thought it was a state. It's an island. Yeah, it's an island state. Yeah. Oh. Uh, in like a future. Utopia, almost. Oh, okay. I thought it was a state like within America. After that, uh, own fantasy. Oh, that's like a fantasy of uh, about owning someone <laughs> with like brain and brawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not like a slave, Clemmer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like serving them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I just like owned you. You got owned. Oh, you okay. got owned. I understand now. Oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's, uh, that's, that's, <laughs> no tap it's being Ben Shapiro. Yeah, right. Yeah. But Ben Shapiro, if he like also beat the shit out of you after, <laughs> after he gave you the facts. Uh, <laughs> no tap best slash worst moments of your life by year. Oh yeah, it's just a. It's fun. I like that. I do. Yeah. I do this myself. I'll rank years. I would go by months. Like <laughs> you know, r slash food plus sort best post this month plus your fictional last meal is the thirtieth post down. Well, that's just an example. Like, I'll go to the food page on Reddit, and it's just like the best looking meals you can think of. Yeah. Uh, Pick or- a number, and then that number is what the the meal I have to eat is. Order a new meal for delivery, and then pretend to do a TikTok review of it. Yeah, it makes it just spices up the whole process. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go through old sports rosters or casts of movies in your head. Yeah, that's me. Um, yeah, I'll like no shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like like a team. Like all right, you know the two thousand you know thirteen Mets, and you got to go through. All right, Josh Tolley's catcher, and you got to try to go through the whole twenty five man roster if you can. Uh, um, betting on small everyday things. Yeah, so like this is usually with a, if a friend and I are if, you know from just like boards. Like all right, let's bet on how many people get on and off the subway. Over under is three and a half. Mm. Or let's bet on you know just you know, how many people trip over this curb. You know over you know over yeah, ten minute period. Over under is one and a half. I do that. Like I, yeah. I always do over under like purple shirts or. Yeah. Like, uh, mm-hmm. I always. I also now do like if I see a jersey, then they're playing that night. I bet them. Yeah. No, I don't do that. But like the the judging how people get off, uh, counting people get on and off the subway is a, is a must. Uh, making music playlists, which I do like this one. I've done that before. Yeah, yeah do it. I do it by year typically. Mm. So I'll go through and find all of the songs from 1987 that I can find, and yeah. then I do a music playlist, usually top 40 of my own. Like. 40 I find that being the most pressured thing in the world. What making a playlist? Putting or? just putting on a song. Oh, oh, it's like oh, I hate it. I, to I, other I people or to yourself? To any? No, to anybody. Yeah, to myself. Um, 
turning TV th- TV theme songs into trumpet songs with your mouth. Yeah. So like, um, my my best one is Sanford and Son. Like. <laughs> But then I'll try to think of like other TV theme songs, and I'll try to I'll do see if Seinfeld. I can do, it. Can you do, do Full House. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's better than the other one. That was good. Oh my <laughs> God, That's clever. That was good. Yeah. So I, I do that a lot. Um, do the first one. The first one, Sanford. Did, uh, did, did Big Wax, the rapper, use that as a beat? Possibly. <laughs> oh, maybe. It's a very famous theme. Yeah. It's a, a hit show in the '70s with Red Fox. It's right. about a man that owned a junkyard. Did you ever see Pat Morita's impression of Red Fox? No. I, I just saw it, it on TikTok wonderful. the other day. It was incredible. Yeah, it's oh, like really? spot it's on. Really, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, so the, we'll go through these options one more time. Um, the app rank uh, notes app rank the cities of your fictional state by population. Um, the fantasy of owning someone. Best and worst moments of your life by year in your notes app. Uh, let's do. Ordering a meal for delivery, uh, pretending to do a TikTok review of it, betting on small everyday things, going through old sports rosters, uh, and we'll just do doing the, the trumpet theme songs in your mouth. I'm going to say it. I love the trumpet theme song, just based off of that one example. Uh, Clemmer. Yeah, probably for me, it's probably the trumpet theme song. I guess it's the one that's like my go-to. Like if I'm just bored, like, a, you know, not in a waiting room because there's people around, but if, like, if I'm just bored alone, I'll do that all the time. Like driving, I do it all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tommy. I'm gonna go going through old sports rosters. Not always in my head, but like I, I you know, baseball reference binge. Well, yeah. Who's on this team? Or that guy had that many home runs that yep. year? Is that a typo? Uh, I can't do the trumpet thing, so I'm gonna mm. go with that. I like KB's uh, where you go through like the best looking foods or something, and yeah. then that you eat that at night. That's incredible. I don't actually get to eat it. But. Oh, you don't actually? <laughs> you don't order it? No, it's usually like a homemade meal. Oh, and I'm like, oh, this is what I should make. Hypothetically, get to eat. You know, what, I'm okay. still going. With that. Sometimes they're better than, uh, yeah. Nick, I'm going mouth trumpet. I want to hear more. Mm-hmm. Not that I would ever do it. Uh, I just want to hear a little bit more. What's the theme song you want to hear? I'm going to wait for next round if it makes it. Uh, that's true, sir. Uh, che, the trumpet, the trumpet, <laughs> KB. I don't know why it's KB. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the mouth trumpet here is going to be tough to beat. Yeah. So mouth trumpets going up against video games, Che. Uh, video games. I could spend tens of hours playing video games in a row. Mm-hmm. KB. Uh, I'll go mouth trumpet. Another for mouth trumpet. Yeah, you're not much of a video game guy, from what I know of you, Nick. Yeah, mouth trumpet. Mouth trumpet. Yes, mouth trump. I used to be video games. I used to, like I just don't have it in me anymore to sit down mm-hmm. and do it. Yeah, I don't either. I wish I did. I I almost get jealous when people go like new games come out. Like people are saying GTA is coming out soon. Like I used to get so. Are you excited are you guys being serious with the mouth trumpet? No, no. Over video. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not one bit. <laughs> Tommy. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough one, but... Uh, <laughs> I just when, wanted to beat one good when thing. When you really think about it, like, it probably got to go mouth trumpet. Yep, yeah. mouth trumpet. I, I mean, I'd be lying. I, I got to go video games here. I know it's my pick and everything, but, like, I every night when I'm bored, I'll do a fake expansion draft on a baseball simulator, and I pretend I'm the 98 Diamondbacks or the 93 Marlins, and I build a whole team, and I do that... Do, I, is this on, like, a website or, like, on Xbox? On a, a, a game on my computer. Like a Clemmer and uh, we had a nice night. I was yeah. laying in his hotel bed with him. We were drinking beers, and uh, he was drafting teams next mm-hmm. to me yep. in Nashua. Can you do the Kirby Enthusiasm trumpet? Can you send me this website? Dun, dun, it's a dun, game. Dun, 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 Out of the park or Baseball Mogul. Oh. Baseball Mogul is the best one. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was my baseball so. That was incredible. That was can really you do, good. Can you do the, the Seinfeld jingle? It's tough because it's all like kind of over the right. place. Yeah, yeah. Um, I almost need to hear it because it's all. It's I, I like to do it when it has a song that has lyrics. Ideally, that's why I don't like the curve boom, one. Boom. It's usually like yeah. Boom, like boom, 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 yeah. Boom, boom, it's like too many. Boom, yeah, it's too many things. Like I like when it's. I always, boom, boom, boom. I always like when a song has like said the lyrics. It's more fun to do. Uh, okay. Queens. Happy days. How's that going? Yeah, uh, yeah. Cheer, uh, cheers is what I, I'll do. You know, more good theme songs. Yeah. I feel like we've, we've I would get been so deprived. angry at you. What, what about friends? Like, Can you do friends? Yeah. Um, 
Oh, how does it, how does it begin? Have I ever told you like, it's gonna be this way? I have to hear, I have to hear, I have to listen to that. This will be a whole separate series. Uh, Anyway, let's run through our players pretty quickly. Uh, You need to do the theme song for the uh, new Hubs Hating His Sister (laughs) podcast. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, which I would love. (laughs) Okay, before we get to the playoffs, let's talk about Roan Apparel. Look, it sucks trying to figure out what to wear. You look at me right now, half the time I'm wearing some garbage like this. You can see it. I think I got this at like Marshalls for five bucks. Can't wear this out in public. But what I wear out in public is the stuff that I get from Roan. Men's closets were due for a radical reinvention, and Roan Apparel stepped up to the challenge. Roan's commuter collection is the most comfortable, breathable, and flexible set of products known to man. Here's why. They are a product for every occasion. Roan helps you get ready for any occasion with the commuter collection, which offers the world's most comfortable pants, dress shirts, quarter zips, and polos. You never have to worry about what to wear when you have the Roan commuter collection. Mobility is everything. Roan's comfortable four-way stretch fabric provides breathability and flexibility that leaves you free to enjoy what life throws your way. From your commute to your work to your 18 holes of golf, doesn't matter. They got you covered. And looking good is easy. It's time to feel confident without the hassle. With a wrinkle release technology, wrinkles disappear as you stretch and wear the products. It's that easy. I got my laundry running next door. I don't know what the fuck to do about wrinkles, and it's, uh, I'm very happy that things like Roan exist. Look, uh, and they also have Gold Fusion anti-order technology, so they'll be smelling fresh all day long, and you feel clean. On top of that, they're 100% machine washable, so you can ditch the dry cleaner altogether, which is a big money save, in my opinion. Well, I think just financially, objectively, it's a sound financial investment. Uh, I use Roan all the time. Again, the community collection is incredible. You can use it any, anywhere you want. looks good, feels good, which is a very rare combination in the men's fashion world. Uh, which is amazing. The commuter collection gets you through any workday straight into whatever comes next. Head to roan.com slash lights and use promo code lights to save 20% off your entire order. That's 20% off your entire order when you head to roan, R-H-O-N-E dot com slash lights and use code lights. It's your time to find your corner office comfort. Again, shout out to Roan. Amazing clothes. Try now. Uh, okay, so um, eating out of boredom versus scrolling through photos. Uh, Clemmer. I guess, like, eating out of boredom, I guess. I'll do the fridge thing. I don't necessarily even eat, but I just look at mm. it and get sad. Tommy? What is it? Eating versus- eating out of boredom versus uh, scrolling through your phones, your photos. Oh, scrolling through photos. Scrolling Definitely. through photos easily. Marty? Eating. I only do the photos on planes. I don't really go back and look too much. When you have no internet connection, yeah. Yeah, where yeah. it's because I know what's in there. Yeah. You know? Nick? Eating. Eating out of boredom. Tasting is fun. Tasting is more fun than that. And that you're not hungry. You just want to taste. Mm. Spit it back you want out. a mouth feel. You want to chew. <laughs> Tell me about Gabby. Eating. Eating's gonna win, but Shay. Eating. Eating. Uh, next up, the <laughs> pretending you're the lead singer of a band uh, in the whole. Move it on. Euphoric mm. scenario you described versus uh, binging movies and TV. Ah, Shay. shit. Damn, this should be the finals. Uh. Binging for me. Binging. Uh, experience the other one. Really. KB. The the music. The music one. Nick. I mean, if it's a new thing that you're binging, I wouldn't call that boredom because you don't need to really like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like the whole office sort of thing. Or, you know what I mean? Or like for me, it'd be like Futurama. So boredom is you have nothing and you have no new shows, and then you have to run something back. Sure. Uh, Nick. Or I guess try something new. Nick, you got a lead singer or binging? Come on. <laughs> Marty? This is tough for me because I do the lead singer thing more than I actually even think about. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not sitting there, all right, I'm doing this tonight. I just, I'm doing it. Just, just I happens. Think I subconsciously do it most. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's very you know, organic. So, yeah. Like, but I do watch so much TV, like, when I'm bored. Mm. So it's very, I don't know what to pick. This is the first time I don't know what you to do. I kind of feel the same way. I really like in the, the history of the bracket. This yeah, is I'm the hardest matchup. I'm trying to be truthful and like I. You guys should just pick one different one then. All right, All right let's see that. You okay, go, I'll go singer. Imagine. Yeah, that's All right. fair. That that's means fair. It's Good call. Best thing you've ever said. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're, we're three to two in favor of lead singer Clemmer. I'm gonna go with lead singer. I, I that and it happens so organically. Even the shower sometimes I plan out. I never plan yeah. that out. It just happens, and I just next thing I know I'm singing at 1:30 a.m. All right, so lead singer versus eating out of boredom. Clemmer. Oh, I'm going to go lead singer. Like, that's that's something I do a couple times a week. Lead singer? First what? Uh, eating out oh, of boredom. lead singer, easy. Lead, easy singer, lead singer. Lead singer. Lead singer. Nick, lead singer. Jeff yes. S versus eating. Uh, KB? Yep. <laughs> eating out of boredom. Yeah. Uh, very, very lopsided vote. So lead singer is going into the finals on the other side. Um, 
scrolling through TikTok versus Wikipedia rabbit holes, Che. Generational Withhold. battle. Dude, yeah, I'm going to stand for something. I'm yeah, abstain. I don't really do either of these things. I post on TikTok and I get off. Abstain, <laughs> KB. Wikipedia, but it's close. <laughs> Wikipedia, but close, Nick. If you would have asked me a month ago, I was going to say Wikipedia, not close. I'm, I catch myself on TikTok. Oh yeah. When I should be fast asleep. Mm. So TikTok, uh, but Wikipedia still. Oh, Wikipedia still. Okay. Just because of the history I have with it. Two for Wiki, Marty. TikTok. I, I yeah. Sometimes I'm just you're right. You're in bed. You just know you should be in. You're bed. on like part twenty with the, of like a of a movie where it's like that Chinese like like music thing playing on it. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. And I really do like those cars that crash, like what Anus does with their TikTok sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dual. I really do watch those on the bottom one. On the bottom, yeah, I've seen that on theirs. Yeah. And the guy jumping on the things. Yeah, oh, it's incredible. Every time. Uh, uh, Tommy. Yeah, TikTok. It's you know, I, as much as I'm sure we'd all love to be, I'm reading, I'm learning. It's it's yeah. TikTok. It's got a hold on us. Two to two. See, I have the same thing. Staying up like when I take two thirty in the morning, I'm still on Wikipedia. So that to all me right. is what I do if I'm up too late. So. I almost hoped TikTok got banned at one point, so like I didn't have to do it, mm. but I have to do it. Yeah, uh, you t- do get a lot of blogs from it. Yeah, a lot of blogs. Wiki's moving on. Now we have the mouth trumpet versus the. <laughs> I think I need. To, I think I need to do the Golden Girls one. Yeah, that one. Uh, is some vibrato on that. Yeah, that, that one is really that, good. Yeah. That's my, good. So mine wouldn't be doing mouth trumpet. Mine would be listening to Clummer yeah. do the mouth yeah. trumpet. But I'd pretend in my head that I'm the one. Doing yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's the winning scenario already. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> and, I, and I'm black doing it to white. <laughs> yes, exactly. In Tommy's, in Tommy's case. <laughs> yep. so, so the That's it. the mouth trumpet versus the uh, the long shower. I'm just assuming mouth trumpet for sure. I'll go mouth trumpet, and I'll say if this wins, I do have cheers in my back pocket. I haven't Ooh. done yet. I actually, you know, as much as we're all having fun with the mouth trumpet, and it's fucking sick. I love a long shower. I long can't, awesome. in good faith, long shower go against. I just there's something about it, Marty. Listen to some music. If get it high. was if it was to take a pill and listen to. <laughs> I would do it. Oh, but, yeah, you take a pill that plays in your head? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's clever, but no, I'm going shower. <laughs> Two for shower. Okay, uh, Nick? I, I, I know he's got... <laughs> I know he's got cheers in his back. <laughs> but uh, I, gotta, I gotta go long shower. He's got a shangle hold on you because right. he's got cheers. Right. Take the bribe. I'm going Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to hear the cheers. All right, we're two to three. Or two to, uh, three to two in favor of long shower. Jay? It's- Free trumpet. Trumpet. Yeah. Trumpet. We're tied up. Fuck, you're going to make me tie break this? Well, how about you play cheers and then you Yeah, okay. Decide. Okay. Should that be, Is that fair to... Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Clemmer. Better be good. <laughs> it occurs to me that I don't know what the cheers theme yeah, song is. Yeah. But, <laughs> we got, but we got no him to, we got him to play. Where so everybody we knows your name. On anymore. Where everybody knows your name. Where everybody oh, knows your name. That actually means okay. that you did a terrible Yeah, that means you did it bad, so oh, no, I got to go. That wasn't great. Oh, no. That, that was your worst bad. one, honestly. Yeah, it might have been. <laughs> that was the one in your back pocket. <laughs> well, I already used um, a Golden Girl. Yeah. Oh, nah. yeah. So Long Shower versus Wikipedia Rabbit Holes. <laughs> Clemmer. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Tommy. I'm going to go Long Shower. I, I really, really like it. Mm-hmm. Long Shower. Long Shower. Nick versus Wiki. Wiki. Wiki 2-2, two to two, KB. Wiki, Wiki. <laughs> wiki, Wiki, Wiki. 3-2 <laughs> to two in favor of Wiki. Long Shower. Fuck, man. These are like two of my favorite things. I read Wikipedia while I'm taking a long shower. Like, I'll sit down in the shower and read Wikipedia. How did your device not go uh, I, <laughs> What was that's that? Dude, I sit in the shower, and I'll just have my arm outside of, like, oh, the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I do. That defeats the purpose of the long shower. No, it You're not doing the long shower You could do right. it maybe, like, I like to take a nice long shit before my long shower. Maybe on then the I'll toilet. Do, yes. Yes. I, I could spend an hour in the bathroom. Yeah. I love yeah. in total. Yeah. From shit and shower. I don't bring my phone in the shower ever. No, neither do I. I do. Well, we're not into the physical shower. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah he's upset. insane. He's a freak. <laughs> I, I sit in the shower. My arms outside of the shower. That's insane. You're now defeating now your arms cold. The shower that's is that you're crazy. insulated. And you're you're within your own thoughts, and that that's a good thing. Well, that's a different way. type of shower. Depends on the type of shower. You close the door in the shower or open it. 
I have like a curtain. What do you mean thing. the door? The oh. door to get into the bathroom. Oh, yeah. oh, it's closed. Yeah. They keep Obviously the heat in. They keep the whole heat. You in. Have, yeah, otherwise, otherwise it's it's get hot. Cold. Fellas, it's just it's a, a no brainer. I do the same thing. All right. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I think out of both of these things, I do wiki more out of boredom. Um, long showers, I'll just take one, maybe not necessarily out of boredom, but um, wiki's more specifically for boredom, so I'll go wiki. So wiki rabbit holes uh, versus being a lead singer in your fake band. Uh, start with you, Che, for the finals. I, I think I have to abstain. I don't do either of these things. <laughs> He's abstaining for the finals. Abstaining okay. wow. for the final. The, the best part is you don't even un, you can't even fathom these. Right. Yes, you don't understand them. You can't like, even put yourself in the shoes. Like I'll sing like in my car and stuff like that if music's on, but I'm not like. What do you sing? Live Jeff? show picturing Chili Peppers, Metallica, December. What's, that's what like, you sing there. Yeah, classic rock. What's, I'd what's, like to hear you sing that. What's the longest shower you've taken? The longest shower I've taken, probably until the hot water runs out. Yeah, that's, know, that's, that's pretty hot. Yeah. Are you a beat off in the shower guy? Not preferred. Okay, yeah, it's because <laughs> you Which have... one of these two do you understand more? <laughs> Reading information? Fantasizing versus learning. It's true. Put it in terms as simple as that, probably learning. So but, wiki. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so the con the the way that you guys are explaining it is so foreign to me. Um, Reading Wikipedia. Yeah, I, I <laughs> <laughs> Can't even wrap his head around. It. <laughs> like the way it's like the thinking of the scale of space. Yeah. Like, have you ever like? It's like reading nonfiction. I, I've been on Wikipedia before, but I'm never like, hmm, whatever, you know, what type of, whatever Ken Jack said, the tanks. That you yeah, the tank thing's an that example. That was just a very yeah. hyper specific <laughs> yeah. example. Not everyone's It's not doing just that. that. You yeah. could go through, like, coaches of NFL teams. Yeah, so, like, what, go through movies. Who is and, the coach of the 74 Rams? Yeah. You could look him up and then go from there. Yeah, I mean, I would go on, like, pro football reference if I wanted to do No, this. but then you could look at his personal life yes. and see his yes. wife and kids and see if things like Zero interest. <laughs> but you see about how he got there, how he got the job, or interesting personal anecdotes yeah. or stories about that man. It humanizes I don't really him. I want to know about. I just want to know like right. they were there for this the, tenure and that was it. They're not humans to him. No, they're not. Mm. It's abstain. A stat yeah. creating machine. This, yeah. Abstain. I said abstain. KB. This is Wikipedia versus the, the lead singer, singer scenario. I've gotten higher highs from the singing one, but uh, cumulatively, bugo Wikipedia. Wiki Wikipedia, uh, Nick. Took, took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, I've brought myself to tears after some performances. Um, I haven't joked once about this, by the way. I don't want people to think that I'm fucking around. Um, but Wikipedia has been tried and true for a really long time for me. This is very left brain, right brain type of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Imagination versus like a learning, like you are saying. Uh, yeah. This is 100% singing. A thousand, like... Wikipedia, I don't want to, like when I'm bored, I don't really care about learning. I want to, what can I do to create a scenario to me to have fun? Well, you don't care about running even when you're not bored, though, to be yeah, fair. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, but any, any time in life, you just don't care about running. Learning is not fun. Right, right, right. At all. Yeah. I think you're a nerd, if you think. That's yeah. literally why you call the nerd, you know? <laughs> that's why like, you call it because you want to learn? Yeah, okay. that's literally what the, isn't that what I thought the like social is. awkwardness would be more of a no, nerd. That's nerd more of a was, dork. Yeah, dork Yeah, is nerd was always like, you're doing your homework? Nerd, like, you want to learn that? That's what it is. Yeah. Myself, I'd like to create a scenario where I am fucking awesome, awesome, uh, singing in front of uh, 40, 50,000 people and they're singing my uh, song back. Tommy? Yeah, I think in KB's simplification of it, where it's learning versus fantasizing, and, and basically, what do you like more? I like fantasizing. I'm, I'm a dreamer, I'm a daydreamer. Uh, <laughs> I love creating shit in my head, imagining it. This is, you know, an example of that. Um, I feel like that that represents all all the other examples. So, I actually can't wait to go home and do this tonight. No, I'm literally mm -hmm. can't wait. Yeah, I'm gonna do it tonight. I want so. you to do the do this city once. Oh, like I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so we're two to two. Clamor's gonna break I'll the tie. Almost be a, into the go city. Go and be, and be like, dolls. look look at the buildings. Like this city's gonna Don't fucking break, break my heart. <laughs> Be nice. Don't, come on. We're, we're two to two. Clemmer's going to break the tie for the finals. Before I do, facts of life. 
Oh. <laughs> and I don't it's know. Dead. I don't know it. Uh, take the good, take the bad, take them both, and there you have the facts of life. Yeah, really? right. Oh, you guys are too young. Uh, the answer is that uh, which you would know if you were on Wikipedia more. Oh. Wikipedia. I'm on. I I do the we can say anything twice a week. I'm on Wikipedia every single night, no matter what. So I have to yep. do that. So the winner of bracket episode 102 is Wikipedia. Uh, going down Wikipedia rabbit holes as the best Happy cure for that. boredom. Wow. Yeah, uh, I'm pleased that. with it as well. And uh, in a very rare case, the winner is myself. Uh, it's one of the only times like I've ever put one in here. Uh, uh, hate it. That's kind of it always. It's just like when Kim Jong Un wins his own yeah. Olympics. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you got was, it. Was the? Uh, oh, I guess I'm the tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, whoopsie. Was the singing one? The singing was a submission, right? Was it like a 16 seed? Yeah, that was a Nick submission. That's a, that's a submission getting like a 16 seed getting to the finals is pretty impressive. It's actually pretty regular. Yeah, I was gonna say it's more bracket. often yeah, than not. Show, yeah. yeah, if you're that's a one seed and you make it to the finals. Yeah. <laughs> it is shocking. That is true. In the bracket. That is very true. Uh, some other ones that were submitted, almost all of these by Tommy. Uh, getting drunk when you're bored? Sad. Uh, <laughs> Alcoholism. Crossword puzzles. I, uh, crossword puzzles. Come That's on. Good those one. are fucking uh, fun. That's not about boredom. No that should have been. That should have been. Up. Up there. What's the last thing you got drunk when you were bored? I have to be like, in, I have to be like focused. Yeah. And like determined. It's yeah. not a bored time pass. But like shit, sitting on a toilet, I'll pull up a crossword on yeah. a plane. Uh, on the subway, whatever, something like that, for sure. Get, I yeah. think getting high is better than getting drunk. You did put bored. getting high yes, in here. Yes, that's um, totally different. Writing in your diary or log. Yeah, updating my life log with all the... And honestly, again, I say it all the time. I recommend all, or all six of you uh, get a log, write down everything you do every day right. and look back on it and then that's an activity, looking back at your life log yeah, and remembering I've, those days. Log. I've yeah. done this, but I always I can't Laps. keep it up. Yeah. Uh, you got stretches. to chess. Uh, texting a friend. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes texting a friend. Chess. Sporkle. Honestly, texting like I, just texting nonsense in with you sometimes yeah. is fun. Or chess is do do laundry. Do uh, <laughs> laundry. If I'm bored, I say I'll fucking do Dude, some laundry. These are the worst nice. submissions of yeah. all time. Go for a walk. Uh, I like going for walks. Take a nap. Oh yeah. Are you Tommy? That's no, great. Awful. What is wrong with you? <laughs> That was so yeah, bad. That was shitty, Tommy. That's bad job. Uh, but anyway, that's the episode. <laughs> you just wanted to end on shitting on Tommy. Yeah, I was gonna say like that wasn't even. A almost, it wasn't even good enough to be a Che in the game. No. I almost think he shouldn't be allowed mention. to com submit uh, any submissions next week. Well, I still probably had a, quite a few on there. Yeah, you did. You uh, had. Uh, let's see. Anything good? Uh, probably like shitty six. Ones. I would oh, say. oh my god! Out of the yeah. sixteen. Right. I always have okay. the most on there. Yeah. He, he submits like fifty of them. He well, you know that I found out a half hour before we came on. Yeah, that's true. You have a heads up. I don't. It takes me a half hour to do it do it it takes not even that long you should be able to do it in that time frame <laughs> uh so thanks to clemmer and marty for joining and happy to have che back very happy to have che back <laughs> very happy yeah i did che forget back. how how hysterical how she is. interesting you are <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh we'll be back next week with a new topic but make sure to like subscribe all that fun stuff